Hello, everyone. I am Austin Townend, and welcome to the Bottle Cap Brigade, the best D&D campaign you'll ever encounter. We're the live stream that gets drunk, talks about D&D, but doesn't play it right. That's right. We think reading the rules of D&D is like clicking on ads in your apps. Only basic bitches do that. <laughs> Not really a joke. It's more just like a statement. <laughs> and you're not wrong. Yeah. Thank you for like whatever it is you're doing. Sam, you guys got all rearranged. I think all of you are wrong now. Yep. <laughs> we are wrong! <laughs> in in more ways than one. Maybe I'm, uh, I'm in danger. I also didn't hear your joke. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Miranda, Miranda, it's better off that way, I promise. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't worth listening to. I have to fix all of you, and somehow you're all like Should I do the thing where I get out and then come back so I don't rearrange? No, no. You, I think that's what you did. That's what you did by yeah, getting no, kicked off earlier. No, that's for good. So, so now that you're in last <laughs> position, every time you get kicked off, it'll be fine. Okay, good. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm just fixing this real quick, and then we're then we're in. Okay, we're good. Uh, we we are so back and in the groove again. So let's introduce so the bottle cap crew. Our first player. Once made a cornucopia out of his right kidney, it's Taylor Hawker as Togu. The left one I'm saving for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Drink while you can, you know, like enjoy it. Um, this player consistently has near-death experiences, one of which involved a scratch and sniff sticker at the bottom of a pool. It's Miranda Hey Killer Plasio is Mars. <laughs> it was really scary experience. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's an OG. That's a yeah. good one. Do you guys remember that, like elementary school? I just thought it oh, was yeah. a throwback. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. I, uh, I like it. This wonderful it's killing human. those elementary school jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bring them back, man, because otherwise they just die. You know. Um, <laughs> this wonderful human can see objects up to twenty feet away and has mastered the urinal. It's Joe Fritz as Tax Slash Barrett. That's why I have glasses on. <laughs> Most of which are, game is they're, fire. <laughs> they're not big accomplishments, but they are. They're on his resume. But they are accomplishments. <laughs> I do me. Yeah, you do. And you do you good. Sometimes you wake up thinking you're going to have a great day. This next player has never done that. It's Kat Lizaraga as Esmeralda. Why'd you say her name like that? <laughs> yeah, why'd you try to say it right? Yeah, it's, it, was, it was like you actually tried all that one. Thank you. I, yeah, I put a little bit of effort. I, I don't really roll my R's, and so it's just never going to happen properly, but, you know. Oh, that's okay. There's a white way of saying my name, too. So. And, and that wasn't it. I felt like I accomplished the white way. A but... white way and a white way. Oh, it's way. great. You're yeah. doing good, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> What's frustrating about this scenario is I've asked, and even if I say it exactly how you say it, Austin will still say I said it wrong. And it makes me think that Austin also doesn't know how to say it, but will say it that I've done it wrong. So that's my opinion. He's just opinion. projecting it's, right now. It's yeah. No, that's got to be not right. You say it one more time, Kat, and then, and then it, yeah, it'll be good. You are wrong. <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Uh, yeah, well, our next player invented an app that will send an Amber Alert to all phones in a 30-foot radius when someone has released flatulence. It's Sam Gates' Darrow. <laughs> Ew, why was that so <laughs> the way it was, you know? What? Like, that was too much. <laughs> Who that likes like was, that? <laughs> it was like a ventriloquist fart. Like, no, like, I couldn't see your mouth moving. Here, let me, let me try again. <laughs> Come here. Uh oh, <laughs> all your farts down. Put <laughs> <laughs> your farts on, like. Oh, oh man. Nobody. All right. Our last player's street name is Come Here Kitty Kitty and is known for wearing shin guards for protection on a daily basis. It's Austin Von Johnson as Eridris. Look out, the ham will get you. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> you have to be careful at all times. You never know when it's coming at your shins. Um, yeah, great. Well, those are the players tonight. They're the same players every night uh, for the most part. So hope you now feel it should be. Don't sound too disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I always am. Uh, <laughs> it's like nothing has changed yet. Yeah. They keep coming back every Thursday. You try to kill their characters. They just come back week after week. <laughs> so annoying. All right. Well, now it's time for a plug for our sponsors. As always, we want to remind everyone watching that you are indeed our family. And just as much part of the Bottle Cap Brigade as any of us playing here today. Thank you for contributing to our campaign and know that you deserve to treat yourself to some amazing new dice sets. Go to dicenvy.com slash the bottle cap brigade, grab some resin, metal, stone, or even wooden dice, and in turn, you'll wooden also be dice. supporting our stream. You can also go to incarnate.com to create your own customized maps to make even the most resilient murder hobo want to roleplay. Thank you again for watching, and you can also support us directly at patreon.com slash the bottle cap brigade. I legitimately <coughs> looked at you, Sam, when I said murder hobo, just for the record. I could do. <laughs> hey, you want to know something about a murder hobo? Uh -oh. you, you can't spell murderer without cummies. <laughs> Herder. Wow, Fucking got you there, you idiot. Sam's <laughs> been working on his spelling. Yeah, yeah, I have, <laughs> and I've also been working on my phonics. Thank you. Yeah, and you're slaying it. Uh, the phonics. Everyone in the chat right now, why don't you say a better joke than what Sam just tried to say? So, like, you can't spell murder without what? And just, you can pretty much write anything, and you'll be more <laughs> witty than Sam. It wouldn't be hard. <laughs> uh, Grace said, can't spell murder without me and you. That's a good one, Grace. Oh, And it's so true! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, Alright, well, cool. I guess we could play D and D if you guys are down for that. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I got a thing. Yeah. Do you guys want? Yeah. <laughs> Should we just like we'll boil some hot dogs? Yeah. Do you guys yeah. want to just like go to a bar or something? Oh wait, we I can't do anything. We did that? He said I'd you can't spell murder without a flesh tube. So. Ooh, that's pretty targeted. Nailed it. Mm. All right. Well, cool. Well, I think uh, without uh, further ado, we should score some bottle caps. Welcome. To episode 49, a cleaver deception. <laughs> the burp was great, too. I feel like that was a good addition. <laughs> it, they're always well planned, too. That's what's impressive about them. Oh, by the way, like Ross playing the electric piano. Yeah, yes, absolutely. And uh, by the way, Joe, I did go and watch the beginning of last episode, and it was you that made that stupid sound right when we came, uh, we went live. So thank you. <laughs> what? He did. He didn't make that sound when we came. He did not. Yeah, when we came, you know. <laughs> I could have sworn it was me, but I don't know. Well, I feel like he was the one that had his mouth covered, so it definitely looked like him. Like he was sitting here it like this. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never let you look at my mouth. That's... Okay. All right. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <I> mean... <laughs> It's a weird phobia, but I, I get it. It's, a, it's, a phobia. it's each his own. I weird guess. flex. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Anyone else like super into like like so just I don't know very cognizant of what my mouth is doing now. That's it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna talk like this now. Stop looking at my mouth. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Cat, you look That's like so every time I Facetime my grandma. I can't Does see it. Are you there? Does nobody else's grandmas, <laughs> nobody else's grandmas do that? Or yeah, they, they like do. Right up on the screen. Yeah, they're, they're like, trying to like. Oh, hello. Yeah. That's interesting. Why is that though? Are they like trying to read something or see it? They're drunk. They're drunk. It's actually really <laughs> accurate one to some grandmas. <laughs> All right, our group has ventured far and through much turmoil to reach this point. They have made it into the city of Carousel. Tack's hometown. Last time Tack laid eyes upon his parents, he was not a goblin. The transformation has changed Tack into a new person, and also how his mother views him. After a painful reminder that Tack's mother is truly not an easy person to get along with, our group moved on to deliver the letter Queen Lariana asked them to do. Togu, Erdris, and Esmeralda went to the office 
of the Magnan Organization of Mass Marketing Association, also known as MAMA. At their headquarters, they discovered a horrifying sight. There, before the three of them, lied a dead employee of MAMA with a cleaver stabbed through his chest. Toku, the minute you see this dead body, you pee your pants out of fear. Erdrich and Esmeralda, can you roll a perception roll to see if you notice? Can I do a performance check to see how well I do it? I, I think that's fair, yeah. <laughs> yeah! <And> ne- <laughs> what, we just start and you make me piss myself? Yeah, yeah. Never be late for the meeting again. <laughs> I rolled a nat one. Okay. Yeah, so that's so weird, I got like a 40. Done super early like I did. <laughs> uh, uh, I got an 18. Uh, is it a performance check for pissing? Is that what it usually is? Yeah, when we usually do yeah, that, I think it's... Yeah, how hard is that stream? <laughs> uh-huh. That's a set... With my performance, that's a 17. That's pretty oh. good. Uh, Togu, how do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, I, I, I just... want to murder that stream. <laughs> I feel like it's an a- I feel like it's an accident at first. Like, it's scared and just a little comes out, but it feels good and he realizes how bad he has to pee and it just, like, slowly <laughs> trickles out. Do you have, you have pants or shorts? Pants. Okay. And they're black pants too. Oh uh, man. It, well, wait. Did you get your clothes back? You were in a robe for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I changed before we left the shower. That makes sense. <laughs> wait, you guys mean like in the last city? Where Yeah. Wait, okay. Yeah. He's still wearing a robe this whole time. <laughs> Remember he was What's naked up? and we put him in a robe for a long time? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if we RP'd it, the the resolution oh, of that. No, no, but... no, 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 VJ. I wasn't naked because of the robe. I was naked because of the orb that I have. Because every time I use it, it makes me naked. That makes sense. Still yep. got it, but I still got nailed it. Nailed it. That's the problem. Is that VJ keeps giving me these really weird and obscure items that I'm just gonna pull out at awesome times and use and totally screw up everything. Dungeon Hashtag... Daddy does that. Hashtag Falconry Club. <laughs> <laughs> it's still my favorite item. I'm very, I enjoy it every time you use it, um, and regret it every time you use it. So uh, <laughs> this is the scenario, guys, that you can respond to. Um, Ergis, you do not notice Togu doing this. However, you do. I mean, you're just you're focused on the scene. I mean, you just walk in. You're like, wow, there's that's that is a dead. The only uh, employee that you can tell is dead. Um, and Esmeralda, you just like. Uh, Let's use Falcon-Eyed, since that's a good uh, nickname I've heard. Um, right at, uh, at 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 Togu's black pants, and notice a pool starting to accumulate uh, around his feet. Did, I, I try and say this uh, quiet enough so Air just doesn't hear it, but I'm like, did, did you just? What? Did you just? Uh, um. No, I get it. Uh, you feel, like how warm it feels on your legs, but like. We've got, we've got stuff to do, man. It just freaked me out. Like, I'm used to seeing dead bodies, but not when I'm not expecting it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, so you love it when you see a dead body and you're expecting to see a dead body. Don't <laughs> love it. I just don't piss myself when I'm expecting to see one. Okay, okay. Well, the smell. Wow. What did you eat? Asparagus? This is insane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I only had a couple sprigs. I'm so sorry. Don't tell Mars this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I you just barely got into her good favors. Yeah, I go, ooh, a secret. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. And then I go to the body and I check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I also go and to the body with Esmeralda. I want to see what, what's it all about. I know it's dead, but mm. I want to know more. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Why you guys do an investigation roll on the body? Huh. Who's doing it? Everybody or just those two? If you want to investigate. I'm fine. I'm... That's an oh. eleven. Got a fourteen. Okay. Uh, you guys both can surmise that there is a uh, large butcher cleaver coming out of the chest of this man. It seems clear uh, that he's been dead for probably like. Uh, almost a day. So clearly, no one's come oh, in shit. here. And uh, 
Yes, Aragis, you also, something catches your eye on the desk. There is a, uh, like a, um, I don't know, it's, I, I use this term a lot, but there's like a ledger, and it's open to this page in this notebook, and uh, on it is like the uh, the signed contract to hire this company to like bulldoze a building in town, um, and the building is, it says to, uh, the contract to bulldoze Saint's Paradise. Hmm. Well, uh, this sure looks suspicious right here. Take a look, Esmeralda. Let's see. I can surmise that paradise. he has been dead for a day. Oh, well done. Thank you. Mm. Um, so they were gonna bulldoze wanna... this place. It's kind of were they gonna? Or they were gonna bulldoze the mama thing? No, this um, this something's paradise. Ah. See, see, see here. Wait. It says. It says. What does it say? DM. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know the exact words, but it's a contract with a local company to remove the building. What what building? Uh, Saints Paradise. Yes, see here it says is Saints a... Paradise to be bulldozed. What what building is that? Is I don't know. Like Let me look at my map. Like a... Would I know what building that would be? Would, it, would we have seen it? Or... I don't think or so. Is it just a building? Okay. Um, can I take the meat cleaver out of its chest? <laughs> I want to take it. Wow. Yeah, do, um... Yeah. Let's do a, uh... A wisdom saving roll. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, that's a nine! <laughs> okay. Um, you take hold of this cleaver, and, uh, it, suddenly your hand just like freezes up. It's almost like you're frozen in time for a second. Um, and you just feel these emotions. Uh, it, 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 like almost as if someone uh, being in such a desperate state that they like, they would go to um, any lengths to like survive or get out of this situation. I mean, you just feel like pain, uh, desperation, um, and ultimately you feel like a breath leaving your body, like as if you had just died. Um, and then it stops, and you're just holding this cleaver. Uh, is you okay? You good? Uh, I'm not dead. That's good. But there's something what? really weird about this cleaver thing, and I just tell them oh. what I felt, and I, then I start crying. Weird! <laughs> oh, as, as, what, uh, what do uh, I've been haunted like four times in like a week, <laughs> yeah. and then I get this yeah. cleaver, and it's it's a lot. It's a lot. No, so, I get it. I'm yeah, gonna keep it. Gonna <laughs> okay, keep it. hey, but look out though. Um, hey, uh, and I and I like grab something to like wrap around my cleaver so that I'm not directly touching it, but I hold it up. I'm like, hey, twinsies. I hit I hit it like a clang <laughs> on. It. Thank you. I needed this. I needed this. Cheers. I needed this. Um, Toga I, peed I, his I, pants. I had to tell somebody. I'm sorry. Oh, what? Togu? Yeah. <laughs> Togu. That was hey, a smell. It wasn't the body. That, you know, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Ten bucks says that Darrow did it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that bet. Yeah, I bet I Darrow did it. Know. Yeah, I, I bet he did it. Um, well, guys, um, I should probably take this and I, and I pick up the ledger and put that with me. Um, and I want to go and check out the rest of the rooms and see if there's anyone else, you know, in the Mama Corporation. Yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll kind of explain the, the room to you. So... It is, it's like this shared space building with a bunch of different companies, yeah. right? And so uh, the room, yeah. you guys walked into this room. It, immediately, it's just like a desk and like two chairs, uh, like an office. And then there, there is a back, there's like a door on the back left. Um, and, uh, but other than that, there's like a bookcase on the left side of the wall. On the right, there's like a couple like landscape paintings, um, both showing the two sons of Magna. And um, yeah, and then his whole desk and a couple of drawers and stuff. 
Um, I want to, uh, yeah, well, I want to go check the other door, um, door in the back. Okay. Left. Yeah. Uh, so you, yeah, you go to that door, um, and as you turn the doorknob, it's locked. Okay. Um, I want to put my ear up to it to see if I can hear anything on the other side. Yeah. Uh, I guess perception. Nat 20. <laughs> nah, let's go. Okay. Uh, this isn't a skill of yours. Everyone. All right. So don't write this down as like a new skill or anything. Um, but that's exactly what I'm going to do. You put, <laughs> you put your ear to the door and you just start to listen. Um, and you hear two things. You hear like the last little tinkle coming out of Togu. And then you also hear through the door. Togu, quiet. <laughs> you also hear. Uh, I lo- I'm just glad that I got to use that as a verb, you know, like when do you get to say that? Uh, and y- you also hear, uh, it's like this like little voice, um, like it's tiny, tiny little voice. And it's like, help, stuck. Okay. Um, yeah, I am going to open that door. Um, how to do it. Uh, the first thing I want to do is, uh, just like run and check all of the obvious places in the room where a key would be. So like go back to the desk, open drawers, dig through there, you know, see if there are any keys that might open the door. Okay. Um, uh, um, I'm going to ask guys, Eric guys, just what uh, he's doing. Guys, yeah. Yeah. Somebody, so, uh, I, I, I think there's somebody behind that door. We need to find a key um, or just like open it somehow. But uh, I want to you know, uh, run up to it and just kick it down. Yeah. I guess do like an attack roll. Okay. Can, can this happen as we're looking for a key? Yep. Do an investigation okay. roll so, from your end. Um, that is a 15. Okay. Ah, fuck. That's real bad. A 17 for me. That's a 9 for me. Okay, That's so, yeah. Uh, this is okay. what happens, is Air just, you're going through all of these drawers, um, and uh, they have, like, you find, like, a letter opener in one of them, um, and you find some, like, papers. There's, like, blank papers as if, like, he'd kept a bunch of notebooks, to, you know, for it to refill. And, uh... Togu, you uh, notice as Air just pulls out one of these drawers that there seems to be like something hanging off the bottom of it. Um, and you go and you see like the, the fabric that's underneath this drawer um, is like kind of peeled up a little bit. Um, and just as you notice that, you watch as Esmeralda, Esmeralda goes rushing at this door and flying kick at it. And you just see her like smash into this door and just slowly like, <laughs> fall back to the ground. <laughs> Uh, I think the cleaver got to me. I was trying to do something cool, and I'm still holding it just in one hand. Like, it's just like, does it make sense to me? It's okay. I think I I died. This is weird. I am so uh, proud of you for doing something cool. But hey, hey guys, um, Erigus, I think. I think you might have missed something here. And then I want to lift up the... Oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, if that's one of my bottom. old paintings of my family, I'm going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Togi, did you rip it off or were you just pointing it out? Uh, I I pulled it off. Yeah, okay. So you, okay. you rip off this fabric or this, this layer and this uh, little key falls to the ground. Nice. Good. I want to. I want to toss it cool. to Esmeralda. I want to catch it. You know what? I'm gonna make you, you guys roll for this. Damn Sorry, it! Yeah. <laughs> Rolling so poorly. Yeah. Athletics from both of you guys. Okay. Eleven. Oh, let's go. Uh, natural nineteen. So. All right. Uh, Damn it. Esmeralda seemed a little shaky, but because of how good you tossed that like into her hand, like she didn't even move. She's like, uh, like unconfident. <laughs> it just like lands in her hand. She's like, thank God, thank God. It's like, like the, it's like the Sandlot there. when he tells Hold him to put his glove. mitt up in the yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is that. <laughs> that was awesome. Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Yeah. 
I'm, uh, okay, okay, I stand up and I to the uh, biggest open pickle. the door using the key as per tradition. Okay. Um, yeah, you put the key in and you turn it like as it unlocks the lock. Um, and the door like kind of naturally opens a little bit as if like the door handle itself wasn't keeping it closed, just this lock. And it's like opens a little bit like... And as it opens, Eridris, you see one tiny air fairy come flying out of him. And it's like, oh! and it's like flying out of there. <laughs> oh, cool. Sweet. Okay. We're on the right track, you guys. Good news for you guys. Hi. Because there was a fairy in there. Is... What? Wait, was yeah. there anything else? <laughs> I look inside. <laughs> yeah, you see row after row of like filing cabinets, just like endless documents uh, is what it seems like. Just like all the history of anything involved in the Magnet Organization of Mass Marketing Association, also known as MAMA. I mean, just anything, uh, yeah, that pertains to the business. Um, you also see a, a small little cute lockbox on a back shelf. Okay, Guys, I, I heard go, the fairy. Everything is boring oh, except for this cute little lockbox and i run up to the lockbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah sounds good you want to open it i'm guessing yes i do okay um you as she's as she's doing that i want to be digging through the filing cabinets to see if i can find like who the higher ups of mama are um basically trying to figure out who i would deliver this letter to now that the only person we know about is dead ah okay um all right i'll come back to you on that Esmeralda, you open this thing, and it's, it's, it's like, very old. You, like, blow the dust off of it, like, when it, like, flies everywhere. And all the dust, I mean, there aren't flies, okay? And then uh, you open this thing slowly, and it just has, like, a little cute, like, metal lock, and it just seems, like, decorative, almost like a jewelry box. And as you open it, it's like, Grit! and it opens all the way, and uh, inside it is one, uh, like, diamond-looking necklace. <gasps> I take it and I put it around my ankle because I think that's the only thing that place it's gonna fit. Yeah, right. <laughs> See, this is uh, to anyone watching. Uh, this is like those moments where you obviously, as a DM, don't scare them enough that they don't even inspect items; they just put it on, and that's <laughs> no! and that's awesome. It's like such a cool position I'm in. You know, I can just surprise you with death whenever I want. Uh, Esmeralda, you put on. The diamond necklace of vitality, and you just have an additional five life at all times while wearing it. Ooh. Ah, sweet. Go. That's dope. Go. Don't uh, take it off. I thought I was uh, going to uh, die. Uh, I pretend to die. I put the bracelet on my ankle, and then I turn around to Airdress, and I go, ah, I should have done that. And then I just go, just kidding. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that looks so nice on you. You're like, you're like Silver Edge for real now. Like, look Hell out. Yeah. Coming into town. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm still oh, waving the around. I still have it in my hand. What were all the nicknames again? Just so. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> most of them are on the screen already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot your attack. <laughs> yeah. I'm Trunkit. Trunkit. <laughs> I'm Pan. I'm <laughs> Pan. I'm Pan. Silver Edge. Hydrate. <laughs> I like that Mars isn't bear, Gladly. but baby. I'm trying to finish this whole thing tonight. I mean, well, the baby bear came up the discussion. I we think, used actually. it, but it got gross. Yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, we're gross people. Baby beer. <laughs> uh, and was Daryl cummies or what? Fully uh, bumbly. Fully bumbly. Okay, close enough. <laughs> Same thing. Lord of the cum realm. All right, so you <laughs> find you find this. <laughs> I'm wild. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm fast, I'm furious. All right, that man. Yeah. All right. Well, well, we'll let that end right there. We're gonna switch perspectives real quick. Uh. So outside, uh, keeping guard is Tack, Mars, and Darrow. Um, you guys were just having a riveting conversation about how to pronounce Lizaraga. And uh, <laughs> as you do, <laughs> as you do, uh, Darrow, can you roll a perception check? I certainly fucking can. Bitch. Do it, baby. Uh, seven. Okay. 
Uh, a man is walking by along this street and like bumps into you, and he like hits you in the shoulder, and he's like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry." It's okay, you broke ass bitch. Don't ever fucking do it again. Um, uh, 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 absolutely, sir. I'm I, again so so sorry. Um, uh, have a wonderful day. And he starts to walk away. Before he walks away, I want to make sure he hasn't stolen anything. St- st- stole, <laughs> still stealed anything from me. Okay. Unfortunately, you have no knowledge or thought, because, or at least that he did, because you didn't perceive it to seem weird by any means. Um, but okay. you do he after he, he after he okay. walks away. It's unfair to say that you can't know, but after he starts to walk away, let's say he's about 15, 20 feet away, uh, you do notice that one of your gold pouches is gone, missing 5,000 gold. Uh, okay, uh, I want Ong to track him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay. Uh, so he like turns the corner and starts going around. Um, and Ong notices as soon as he goes by, he doesn't seem like this, uh, you know, this kind of idiot that falls over and trips and bumps into people. And he just like full on sprints like a like a professional thief, you know. And uh, okay. so, yeah, so he just starts taking off. Okay, uh, I turn to everyone and say, that bitch stole my fucking money. I'm gonna go get him. Do you guys want to come? Should I shoot his butthole? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, we're gonna get you into prime butthole shooting position. Okay, Tack. Last guy that ran away from me. It was right in his ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it looks. It looks you don't like run. Horrifying. You don't run from Tack, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, uh, I think so... I might sit here. It might be best to have somebody still watch the, you know, premise of this building. That's and okay, if they Mars. come out, it's nice to, you know, have somebody to tell them where you both went, rather than both all three of us disappearing. Yeah, no, that that's great, Mars. Do you do you have anything that you can put on me to like track where I'm going, like any magical bullshit? <laughs> to put on you, I don't, unfortunately. Okay, that's um, okay. I'll just. Uh, oh, we we can have like a call sign. Like I, I can I can say like, Kakamis, Kakamis. If you're trying to look around for me, we can. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Search for that. Uh, I'll, I'll listen for that. Awesome. Um, and so I'd like to put Tack uh, as quickly as possible onto my disc. Is um, he on the egg? Yeah, and how far? away is the sky at this point uh yeah so you guys talked a little bit i'm gonna say like 40 feet but he's like turned around a corner of a building and starting to take off okay that's cool um can i uh can i have ong dive bomb and try and kill him i don't see why not okay i'm gonna do that all right let's have him do an attack roll however that bird works (laughs) please get in that (laughs) <laughs> do i add anything to it uh, yeah i guess probably like, not i i don't I mean, know it a, doesn't say in your spell does it, it like what it's it a does? 16 so yeah it's a bird i don't know it's dive, dive bombing a thing yeah i mean <laughs> it's I, a bird i need to look up how we we're gonna uh what the Did stats are for lot. your bird but i think a 16 is gonna hit either way so yeah, I just didn't. I didn't know if you wanted me because it's a raven, right? So I would assume there wouldn't be any bonus. Let's look. That's a weird Google search. We're doing it. But if it's gonna hit, like I can, I can look it up. Sorry, Miranda. I said drink. We're looking up a rule. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. right Get now. it. <clears throat> Cheers. Um. Yeah, you, you have a plus four to hit. It says? Jesus. Reach of five feet, one target. Oh, if you use your beak, your beak attack. Yeah, I'm just, well, I mean, it can kind of beak, but I'm I'm like diving at him. It does one piercing damage. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You have, it has one health, (laughs) one HP apparently as well. Yes, that is true. (laughs) Okay. Um, Yeah, cool. So uh, where do you want to beak him? Uh, I I'd like to. <laughs> I I, I want to beak him in the head. I want to try and knock him down. Hmm. 
Okay. Slow him down. Yeah. Me- I did not up. expect that answer. <laughs> did you think I was going to say penis? <laughs> okay. No. Um, <laughs> or one of his three bubbles. So you do... Uh, so Ong does fly in and like and just, just gives him a, a nice painful beaking, you know, just right in the head. <laughs> and, uh, nice hard beaking. Yeah. Uh, as you beaked do. Beaked him so hard. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it like cuts his head a little bit. He's like, ah, like stumbles a little bit and then keeps running and turns back and seeing a bird. Um, we're still in kind of like a chase scene vibe, so not really a fight yet, but he's just running away from the bird. Okay, and I'm uh, like Darrow and Tack are trying to like catch up and Ong is going to subsequently follow him okay. as well. Okay, yep, so he's tracking him. And uh, so it keeps flying. You guys make it around the corner, and Mars, you just watch as they disappear around the corner. And now it's just you outside this building. Um, and we'll come back to Darrow and, and Tack in a second. <laughs> I'm just imagining this scenario where Darrow's, like, running, and the Tack's just, like, sitting like a genie on top of this disc. <laughs> <just floating>. <laughs> <laughs> Hugging this A. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Egg holder. Um, so yeah, Mars, you're just now alone outside this building. You're just sitting there, kind of like, okay, good. You're back. I thought you froze. And I was like, God, no, not right now. Um, yeah, yeah, you did. And I was like, no. Okay, so uh, you see two guys that are walking, uh, two townsfolk that are walking uh, down the road. They're not really like looking at you or, or, you know, like paying attention to you or paying notice at all. Um, But you do have, you do hear their conversation and they're going back and forth with this conversation. Like, have you heard the rumor? Okay, it's like, yeah, no, I mean, which one? Like, oh, the ghost sightings, man. Apparently over at the Red Heap, they've they've seen like three ghost sightings, which is crazy. At the Red Heap? Yeah. Your keep. Heap? The red heap. Yeah, and the guy heap. the guy responds to him. Um and he's like, you mean the place where the where the brothers died? Say that out loud. Hmm. Um, um and as you hear that, you just uh you feel the door moving behind you. As, uh, Nothing very... moves a plot along like bystanders giving, you know, information nonchalantly. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm, yeah. I, I actually don't feel bad about this at all. I'm really happy with my decisions. <laughs> Am I like out of focus? Where is my depth of field here, guys? Where's my focal length? This is all wacky. You look I good mean, on the stream. All right. Yeah, he looked great yeah. to me. He looked probably. Yeah. 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 Hey. yeah. That's my. That's <laughs> it doesn't auto focus, so I have to like turn it. Like, all right. So, uh, here's the deal. As you uh, hear this conversation, you're you're like your back is hit by the this door of this building, and you hear a couple like squishy steps of Togu's feet coming out the door. Was there puddles in there or something? Or oh. is that blood? Um, no, no, it's 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 not blood. What Mars. is that I'm smell? Um, oh my god, how long has the body been deceased? Uh, yeah, a body uh, fell on Togu and it squirted on him, but just his pants. You should have seen it. It was everywhere. And then it I was wanna... everywhere. You but know when you die and then you pee when you pain. die. Yeah, it was. It was the dead body's pee, and it only splashed up and got on Togu's pants. Oh my god, the dead body fell, and it fell so hard it squished its piss out, and the piss <laughs> landed. It. Wow, it was like you yeah. were there. It's I. It's as <laughs> unbelievable to me as it is to you. Oh, well, we need to get you cleaned up. I yeah, think... let's not talk about this anymore, please. <laughs> Everything all right, though? Are you, are you okay? Did you meet any foe in there? Oh, well, I think I died for a second, but I got this cool cleaver. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Me and you oh, and then I <laughs> so cash. And then, yeah. And then I kick up, and I put, but like I I, kick, I bring my foot really high up very quickly, and then I put it down on a crate, and I say, "And this necklace." 
Oh my god! <laughs> Silver Edge, I see. Yes. As I was putting it on, I was like, I should inspect this first because it could kill me. But you know what? I mean, I after mean, you the put cleaver thing you happened, and then feel like you died. Yeah, exactly. Don't even worry exactly. about it. Exactly. So, so I think it's it's okay though. Yeah, it looked great, truly, truly. Yeah. Also, uh, Esmeralda, you're holding um, a butcher's cleaver. That's 1d6 damage. Yes, that's what I was... Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you want to keep it, I don't know. Also, it's haunted as fuck. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, and it always feels cold. Yeah. Oh. Always feels cold. I don't like this. <laughs> um, uh, uh, somebody stole money from Darrow. Uh, so Darrow and Tack are... Um, currently pursuing the the fella um oh. and i i did hear something interesting while i was standing outside these um two bystanders were talking about um ghost sightings at this place called the red heap something to do with brothers dying I don't know anyone but well ghost, you know huh? it's funny that you say that there's this other place called the saint's palace what was it fucking called again paradise yeah. saint's, saint's paradise. paradise and it was about it was about to get bulldozed um, and the 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 dead body that fell on Togu and Pete everywhere. Um, yeah. I mean, it seemed it seemed like maybe the reason that this Mama executive might have died was the fact that they were going to bulldoze Saint's Paradise. Wasn't Saint's Paradise something to do with the ticket that Tax Mom had? I don't know. Where's the, the public oh, transport, hey. right? Yeah. Um or excuse me, we're Tack. Pam's. Yeah, Tack, we're Pam's. Can you Tack, where's Pam? Tack is Oh, here. where's Pam? Well Pam, let oh, uh, he's Tack. right this way. Tack is here. Tack yeah, is I'm here. here. <laughs> I'm just shouting out to everybody else to cover up <laughs> that I just sifted our freaking code names. Well, <laughs> this is Tack! Let's go find him. Uh, I want to use the tack tracker. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, they went right around that corner. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me, VJ. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever tack went with Darrow, I'm like, I think I know this will work. Um, Dungeon Daddy, what uh, what what information did I find in the files about like oh, clues yeah. as to who the leadership of Mama is? Yes. Shit. Let's uh, open up the map for anyone or everyone else to see. So, uh, yeah, you found out that the like the leaders, um, there's two. Well, there's two other HQs. Um, one of them is in Sarid in Musiv, oh, on the right side it. of the map here, um, and the other one is in Brevin. And um, yeah, one's in Brevin, which is in Kalak. It's at the top left of that map there. All right. Well, shit. Um, I guess we're gonna have to deliver this letter to fucking Brevin. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. The government there is a little weird. Like they have, they have like very oppressive government, from what I hear. Lots of taxes. I mean, there, there, there are quite a few people that kind of flee Brevin and uh, tend to live on their own, you know, live off the land a bit just because of how oppressive that government is. <sighs> it's a shame. Sounds like it. If you haven't seen the episode, it's a three-part series. <laughs> <laughs> Go check it out. Um, yeah, all right. So, Togu, you're looking around, and you see the, I think it's a purple, like, Missed this purple this like ether, yeah. Yeah, uh, that is like your tack tracker. For anyone who doesn't know, this happened like one of the first, I think in the first arc of our our show. I just magically gave Togu a tack tracker, and he can just always see where tack is. Speaking of shit, you give Togu. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill Togu so he doesn't get any power, more powerful. Uh, no, you're just gonna make me fall again, and Togu's <laughs> gonna have a mental breakdown, and like just he can't do anything. He just sits in the yeah. back, like playing with a little like, ass. Uh. He's like, I might fall again. <laughs> yeah. We just gave him a fidget spinner and we're like, there you go, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Togu, you just what? see this, this, this myth that's like going like in circles all over the place. Uh, and it's, it's weird because you're like, this is what he was doing. And then you finally, it's like, it's like almost thicker 
uh, purple smoke around the corner where Mars pointed that they went. Ah, Mars, you're totally right. They went this way. Come on. Of course I'm right, darling. I literally saw them turn the corner. Did you not believe me? No, I, I, I don't know. I mean, you're so awesome. Like, I didn't know you I'm looking at them so and I'm like... <laughs> just like no, I start uh, Naruto running towards you know the direction. That. Body squished its face out on me, so you know, you're fine. <laughs> I want to run around the corner and then look at Mars and be like, "Now where?" <laughs> now that I don't know, darling. <laughs> oh well, he just went this way, and then I'll keep following. Okay, yeah, or running. I guess literally as you guys start to get to this corner, um, there. Uh, th this is what you see. Um, first, you see Tax like butt, and then you see the rest of nice. his body. Yep, you see butt yeah, first do. as he's like Wait, bent how's, over. What's his butt look like? I mean, it's tax bear. Yeah, are you wearing clothes? Bear butt. Yeah, what's his butt the... look like in this uh, in this outfit? The, yeah, the, the the harness and the whips and chains. Yeah, you still wearing uh, that? that? I thought you Your mom's thing? Nah, I took you... it off. Okay, I'm like your mom didn't even give you clothes. She's like, okay, go figure it out. <laughs> She's like, God, you're weird. Please leave. <laughs> okay, so you've changed to normal clothes because it turned out all of that was unnecessary to begin with. So. <laughs> all right, cool. You see, you see, uh, tax butt, a sight that you guys have seen many, many, many times, and he's uh, okay, like yeah. bent over, like he's dragging something, and he has, uh, as slowly as he's revealed, you can see that his hands are on the ankles of this body, as it, and slowly this body is being revealed as he drags it around the corner. Um, and, uh, there's just, like, one arrow, like, right between his butt cheeks of this, this body that he's pulling around the corner. And he just brings this guy around, and then behind <laughs> is Darrow carrying, uh, his bird who had just horribly died again. <laughs> does it have a corpse, or does it just poof? Tack has his kids it just poofs. Wild <laughs> okay, you just have, like, the, the ashy remains of your, <laughs> your bird. Um, you guys had caught him Ten, and where, shot him in the ass. Where'd your pants go? <laughs> to be honest, um, there was a bit of a tussle when I caught up to this guy after I took him down, as I usually do, and uh, he went for the pants. Hmm, unorthodox, but I respect it. <laughs> we respect you, Tack. Well, Thanks, man. Yeah. This oh, is, sorry. this is now canon, and your pants are destroyed. Um, I'm gonna take his pants want... off and put them on. Okay, uh, so you do that, uh, and you put on these. They're like, let's call them, casual, flimsy trousers. Athleisure wear. Yeah, and there is a <laughs> hole in the butt, as if like You're an arrow had punctured it. And wait, is, wait, there on his no dad. Pants. He died from yeah. hitting that guy. The okay. guy, the guy, it, through through this thing that we didn't even montage or explain, it he killed your bird. Okay. I just wanted you, to annoy you with making you resolve. Oh, that's, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so you're not wearing pants anymore, Tech. What's new, baby? But then you have new pants, so you look great. Thanks. You look, you look cash. Oh, it's me. <laughs> I, I just turned to everyone and say, this fucking guy stole 5,000 gold from me. That's 5,000 gold that we could use to, I don't know, bribe buy hookers. People. Yeah, oh. that bribe people. That's what I meant. Uh, yeah, a lot of money to steal. Yeah, Ong is dead. He killed Ong, too, uh, which is absolutely unacceptable to me. Uh, but I, I'm not exactly sure where he is now. So. <laughs> You turn your bird inside out on tack shoulder. Yeah, it's, but uh, because fuck him. It but. seemed like it was just for fun when you did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it might seem like that to you, Adris, but it's actually a form of discipline. Okay. I know you don't understand it because you're fucking bored. yikes. <laughs> <laughs> Terrified, even me, Derek. Okay. <laughs> discipline. Well, okay, so just to bring everybody up to speed. Um, uh, so I found this ledger in the thing. Um, um, yeah. It was, on the, it was on the desk. And uh, apparently, 
uh, some representatives from Mama, we're going to tear down this building called Saints Paradise. And uh, and all we found was a dead guy. So hypothetically speaking, this is just a hunch. Maybe Saints Paradise is where like the 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 guy that uh you know yeah um he hangs out um every well oh i I didn't want to say it out loud because like people freak out about that and then that was a i don't know i mean i don't i don't freaking know in the streets too often (laughs) i'd like to continue pursuing the guy while they're all talking (laughs) oh yeah yeah, maybe we should leave or, or hide this body somewhere. I still have well, a, I ran idea. the whole time. I ran with the cleaver in my hand too, and I was like, "He died with this. This was killed him." Like the new logo <laughs> for ICP is just a blowfish running with a cleaver <laughs> with clown makeup on. Hilarious. Um, Bear, what was that thing that uh, that you found? Yeah, there was these two um, heard. who were walking down the street and they were talking about these repeated um, ghost sightings, about three of them, at this place called the Red Heap. And it also is the site of where the brothers died. And if I remember correctly, when one of them mentioned the brothers um, dying, they got really hush-hush and then got kind of nervous and then, mm. you know, scuttled away. So, I don't know, Red Heap is another location we might want to check out. If um, Saints Paradise, you know, uh, so, Pan yeah. wasn't Saints Paradise. Didn't it have something to do with, uh, that's, with with Vonnie's like ticket? That's to the Six the, Wonders. Yes, that's exactly where the receipt is for. Is for Saints Paradise. Saints Paradise. Yeah, the Air Griffin ticket. Uh, well, huh. Griffin, that's right. we have quite the to do list, you guys. Um, I guess I guess we're right here, you know, outside of Tormentor's place. Um, do you want to hop in here first and maybe complete our mission before we head over to the rest of the shits, or should we do the shits first and then visit Tormentor's? I mean, we're Darrow already is here. already running after the guy that stole all of his money or some of his money. Well, you, you guys that caught him, guys shot him in the butt, took his I pants. Oh, I must have blacked out. Yeah, no, you're good. Because uh, I, I didn't let you guys play it. I kind of forced it. So you guys caught him. Mm. I mean, Tack ta- okay. shot him in the butthole. Okay. For you. Yeah. Tack's wearing his pants. Oopsie poopsie. Tack, do we need to hem those pants for you? It, this is, um, you know, they're a bit long. Wasn't this a human guy? That... <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to roll them up like... real high. <laughs> yeah. I can cut them for you if you want. I'll use this oh, thing. Great, yeah. Give it a slice. Why is there blood on that? No reason. And then I chop him right below his face. <laughs> yeah. It's... Just it gets the fabric. Yeah. Tack peas a little bit. I'd, I'd like to use mold <laughs> earth to make a little bit of like a, a, a penis satchel for tack too. Um, yeah. And like give him a thong essentially. A penis yes. satchel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't really. No, I understand I don't know it if now. You weren't but... used any of those words correctly. <laughs> no. I want to give him some pants, kind of. <laughs> All right. Tack has pants. I just cut him for it. <laughs> I'm going to have the Twitch chat just keep you up to date on what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Daryl somehow Tack lost his pants and then took the pants of the robber that he. So I, I guess you guys even checked if you've killed him. He's just a he's just a body on the ground right now. Um, we know with, an extra, with an extra hole in his butt. Can yeah. I loot? Can I loot the body to get my gold back? At <laughs> yes, least? yes, you can. Done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. you, you find five thousand and five gold. So you made money Neat. from all Neat. this. I wanna, oh, yeah. I wanna, I wanna backhand the apparently kind of dead corpse too. I just wanna slap him as hard as I fucking can, okay. even if he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess just roll uh, a d4. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take me a second. Oh, I got a two. 
Yeah, nice. Uh, yeah, you do two damage to his face and his unconscious body. Um, the minute you do, he like wakes up. He's like, ah! <laughs> <sighs> oh, we should leave. Oh, nice. Okay. You stole from me, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'll, ne- I'll never do that again. Yeah, what did you learn? What did you learn? Uh, who shoots someone in the butthole? Well, to be Hack. honest, I didn't have a choice. His name is chosen for me. His name's uh, uh, that's not his name. And my name is Pam. His name's Pam. I didn't Pan. shoot you. Pam. <laughs> yeah, that's Tack, and I point with my knife. <laughs> he like slowly starts to stand up and looks at you all. Yeah, the bottle cap brigade is just slowly becoming a weird fan to see who's on first bit. No, <laughs> I'm not Tack. He's Tack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I can I leave now? No. Um, you have to come with us. Please. No, absolutely not. Look Does anyone have some rope or something that we can tie this man up? If you if you run away again, Pam will shoot you in the asshole. I, will, I won't run. I won't run. All right. <laughs> You're really now my thrall. Stella, along with us, I feel like he's already had, you know, a day <laughs> in and of itself. Yeah, I mean, Bro, maybe, how much did he maybe we could just ask him some questions about, you know, some of this weird shit that's happening. If you want to do that, that's fine, but he owes me an additional 5,000 gold from the 5,000 gold that he stole from me. Now, Bro, I, I don't know. 5,000 gold. Yeah, I do. I think the thing that you don't understand, Tack, about money is that I need more money. <coughs> Fair enough. Kid, you're out of luck. Um, I want to give him like a, a leg slap. Like, okay. kid, you're out of luck. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Was, I don't. What's your name? It, it, turns, it turns his butt away from you. Uh, Jerry. All right, Jerry. I feel like we've met a couple of people with your same name in no, the last couple no, of months. No, you haven't. <laughs> you're you're with the brigade now, so never forget our name. Never forget the bottle cap brigade and oh, what we're doing right now. I don't, Did you just forget our, our name? Over. Did you just forget our name? I don't know if this is not in this town. Or you will. Uh... I lean over to Erdris this... and I go, are we supposed to be good guys? I thought so. I am so confused. Like I know right he now. stole. Like that's bad. Yeah. But yeah. Like, also, this is like borderlining, like threatening. We're dealing with a thief. E- yeah. Oh. What? What? No one's. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about what? anything over here. Don't worry about it. Don't, no, you guys what? do what you want to do, and I'm pointing the whole time with yeah. my cleaver. I'm just kind of waving. Around. <laughs> I just want. I want to go start counting my gold and. Okay. I, I turn to Silver Edge and I'm like, hey, um, by the way, that's the specific weapon used by the guy that's, you know, doing all the murdering around here. Um, <gasps> Do you think Tormentor I... can look at it? Because it's like hella haunted. That's a brilliant idea, to be honest. We should yeah, it yeah, ab- absolutely. I was primarily talking about the fact that, it, like, if people see you with it, that they, they might assume that you do that. What? What do you mean? I don't think anyone's going to care. Everyone needs to okay. handle themselves. A guy <laughs> walks okay. by. Yeah. Uh, who? Everything's over. And Everything's now cool. dead guy. A guy walks by uh, into that area. And just as you're like swinging this thing around. And he sees it. Like, oh, it's a climb. And he just like starts running out. of. Oh, and takes off like out into like the main street area. And you just hear this commotion, like heads start popping around looking down the street. And right as they do, okay. right as that starts happening, the guy uh, the guy that you guys shot, you just uh, hear this like <laughs> as he pulls out the arrow from his butt hole. And he's just like <laughs> And with that we're gonna go oh, on. Oh you're not supposed to take those out. <laughs> oh wait, my wait, god, there's a lot happening. I feel like it's <laughs> yeah, it was horrifying. Um, no. Thanks for watching, I am guys. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Uh, we're gonna take a quick potty break, and we will see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Uh, hello, everyone. We had some sound issues, but we're good to go now. Uh, speaking of sound issues, Taylor, uh, would you like to vocalize some of your thoughts? I think you're muted. <laughs> he is absolutely muted. Oh, oh my god. Is he That's faking it? Is he being funny? No. This is something, this is something he good. would do. <laughs> He's like, how can I lower the production value somehow? It's like always in his brain. <laughs> oh, there he is. You know what's better Not than so sound well issues? For that, though. What? Right. You know what's better than sound issues? Some sick ass new dice from our friends at DiceEnvy.com. So go Come check on. them out. You can get all types of different styles of dice, resin, metal, even wood ones. Also, if you oh. like the content that the Bat Brigade puts out, whether that's on our Instagram, whether that's on Facebook, whatever, <laughs> uh, you want to see some more cool, awesome stuff, then you should subscribe to our shit on Patreon because it's rad. Check out our OnlyFans. BatBatBatBrigade.com. <laughs> our only grams oh yeah we got a website too we got all sorts it's of just stuff. a bunch of grandmas and if you want to go see a dog on a website there's a couple of them on our website <laughs> oh, thanks sam there are you pictures every yeah. dog? We i'm sorry miranda dogs? oh we should probably post our dogs guys we should we instead should. of yeah! our pictures should be That'd dogs be does everybody have a dog dog i have a cat Oh, yeah, you can cat. Awesome, yeah, your pet. You it's like a dog. Everybody, has, yeah. It's a naked dog. It is. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Hold on, really quick. Terry's definitely my naked sphinx is growing little patches of hair on what? his like hip and his little armpits. It's patches. So armpits. Yeah, covers it's getting armpit hair. He's going through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this little pink fuzz. It's so cute. You're gonna have to have the talk with him. Dude, you'll have the talk your soon. Body's gonna be changing, buddy. <laughs> <There's that. laughs> all right that was funny let's go into the session so uh where we had just left and i'll reenact this for you uh you guys turn to see the the the, the thief the robber pull this arrow out of uh his behind to just go ah! oh! 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 Ooh, why, not why did you do that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, bleed out. out! Sweet freedom! Wow. Can, can somebody shove a, shove a potion in his butt or something? Does it, do, we, <laughs> do we have any healing we can do? I'm not, sorry man, I'm not a healer. I'm, that's not really a thing. I, I wouldn't heal him if I could, probably. I don't feel very good. I think yeah, you're oh, all fuck. <laughs> I'd like can to take... <laughs> I'd like to take oh, some yeah. Marion uh, Johnson jam and use. Uh, How much is in your inventory? How much Marion Johnson does jam? Does it even say? Does it say a jar? Uh, yeah. It says that I have. I just have it. Okay. <laughs> it you, doesn't say yeah, how much. I'm going to say that you've gone halfway through your jar at this point. I'll just say I have half of a jar of it left. Yeah, I'm gonna say you have half two more uses after jar. this. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna waste any on this then. No, okay. there's then a you have it. three uses. Okay. Of oh, jam, I have to create a um, limit on this because it's like this endless jar. Of jam. <laughs> it's jam. breaking the game. <laughs> he uses uh, it every. Jam. You can just use jam whenever you we'll want. We'll never go hungry again. <laughs> Every encounter, he's like, well, I got that jar. <laughs> I feel like like I'll... the use of it, we're all just constantly sticky. Too, yeah. Just because, yeah. like, <laughs> it's gross. Just a little bit. Uh... Draw, Barry. <laughs> all right. Nobody um, jams me. I'll one of my butterflies with uh, cure wounds. Um, here, why don't you um, hold on to this butterfly for, for a while, friend? Where should I put it? Sure. Um, just get it on your shoulder for a bit. You, you feel a, a smidge better. In like, He's like, oh, I'm going to over to be like, you'd be surprising how great those butterflies make you feel, my man. Um, <laughs> He's like, um, really I, lean, right I lean over to Esmeralda and I'm like, hey, Silver Edge, do you think that Togu, that, that, that Tack put a butterfly in his butt? No, probably. <laughs> yeah. No, it's making more sense now. Like one time I saw a butterfly kind of like 
like, ooh, go around him for a little bit. And then he kind of just like twer twerked his butt a little bit. And then the butterfly was gone. I didn't see it again. I think he does this like all the time. Uh, but yeah, that, 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 that butterfly has a name. I can't think of it at the moment, but um, Swarmzy, Swarmzy. Um, oh. He has it well-trained. Um, I didn't realize that he twerk trained it. <laughs> it's twerk certified. Okay. Twerk certified. <laughs> and mm. its own blue jacket. All right, so uh, thank you yeah. for doing that, Bear. <laughs> yes, of course. That's, that's, that's um, a good thing. Yeah, so yeah, it, we should it, definitely practice it before more people look at us. We have the cleaver, you know. We should pop into Tormentors. Yeah, there's about six, in there. six people like looking at you guys from the ed end of the road, like kind of like looking and then talking to each other and whispering. Um, and then also he slowly puts the butterfly on his shoulder and just what are like, you looking the at? pain goes away. <laughs> yeah. Um, if, 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 if only... What are you looking at? Do an intimidation oh, roll, please. <laughs> I'd like to use if 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 I can give her a little bit of a boost on it, like maybe advantage. I'd like to use prestidigitation to make her just super fucking loud. Oh man, what a scenario! <laughs> I will. I'll give you a plus one to your roll. Okay, well then that is a full twenty. Hey! Oh, you're doing well. To get it. Yeah, I have a plus five to intimidation, and I rolled a fourteen. So she is terrified. That's some simple math right there, dude. All right, so I feel like Togu pees himself again a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's your call, man. I'm not forcing this one. <laughs> not enough that anybody else notices, but enough for Togu's like, oh, oh, <laughs> catch it. <laughs> what yeah. are you looking at? Get out of here! Stop getting in here! Wait, stop it! <laughs> I just got it. Then... Okay, yeah. So, yeah, God, yeah, you're scary. And so they're they're, they're like, oh, yeah, I mean, you're scary. they're we all. We to say, say it. <laughs> Go off, Queen. Come on. <laughs> Less arms, maybe. Maybe keep it closer to you. <laughs> yeah. So, they all. I mean, they all Thank like. You. They all like turn to each other like it's the cleaver. It is the cleaver, and they like run away. Oh, if mind if your only business. There's... Oh, okay. <laughs> Only there's a way to control the thoughts and minds of the public. Yeah, anyway. if only there was a way to do that. Trunk it. Anyway, right. I think we're good now. No one's watching us and giving us the evil sting guy. Let's go into Torment Tours. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. That's good. I, um, I will preface that Tormentor is quite um, an odd, strange fellow. Uh, oh. Just, you know, just be prepared for that. Does he like money? What, what kind of strange? Well, you see for yourself. Okay. <laughs> mm. I'm, I'm glad you just ended it there instead of deciding what my character is going to be like. Yeah. I fucked it up too, but... <laughs> yeah, Sam does like that enough with changing whole pirate like crews into being <laughs> people that shit on decks of boats, and you just never I, know. I had to do that. <laughs> I. I don't feel like I should take any heat for that. It was a, I had to do that. I don't think you're I the one that says, "Yeah, that's the yes." Thing. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't, I don't have to yes and your stupid plot changes. <laughs> I just feel bad shutting them down. Maybe I need to, you know, to teach you a lesson. <laughs> we'll see okay. the next time it happens. We'll see if I can catch you off guard just enough. You yeah, know? I'm like. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys are right outside of the building. Let's open up the map for everyone. So here's the map of Carousel. Um, you guys are uh, like right outside Sal's place, um, which is the bottom right of that map in that uh, in that kind of alleyway, like right between the halo and the tail. Um, and then a couple of buildings uh, below to the left. And uh, yeah, so halo and tail is where um, is where Torment is. Do so you guys like we're to right up? Where where do you say we were again? We're at the. You're like oh, you're you're at Sal's place, um, and Halo and Tail is like right next door, right? Like you're. Oh, right we're like door. at that corner. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, I mean, we're right here. We're close. Yeah, let's go in that. The Tormentors. Okay. I'd like to. I I want to. I want to just bust the fucking in there. Like I want to. I want to get my ass in there and go in first. Yeah, well, you guys walk. Uh, I'll let you decide where you want to walk, but just looking at that map, let's open that up again. Um, 
So looking at that map right at the corner between Sal's Place and Halo in the Tail, to the left um, would lead out to like that main courtyard area, right? But along the side, that left side of that building, there's no openings, there's no windows, and there are absolutely no doors. So you're, I mean, it could be that the, the front of it is uh, in the main courtyard area. Who knows? I would like to investigate and find <laughs> the secret door that's on this wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I want to check out where we're at. See, this course. is the thing. This is, you want to know what D&D &D is? Another thing. If anyone wants to know how to play D&D, &D, this is it. I write a story, and then they do an investigation role for something that doesn't currently exist, and then if you natural 20, it suddenly does exist. That's D&D. &D. Yeah. There's always an option. How we play. Yeah. Or maybe it does exist. I'm just trying to put you off the scent, as they say. <laughs> it smells. Just watch as Erdus is like, I got it. And he just starts, like, touching this blank wall for a while. Um, and you guys just watch him do this. And... While while I watch him do that, I kind of like sneak out to look in the courtyard. Is it like fairly busy with people freaking out about a stabby man? Um, yeah, it yeah. Like you see people running yeah. away, and then uh, one of them is talking to a guard who starts to collect more guards. Sure. So I want to cast. So I, I want to cast darkness, which is like a, essentially a sphere, uh, but I want to cast it so we have enough room to sneak to the front and like go through the front door without anyone seeing us. So like everything in the courtyard is dark other than the path that we need to get to the front door. Okay. Yeah, it's, cool. a, it's a 15 foot Terry, though, sphere. If you could cast um, Pass Without a Trace, then you wouldn't even have to do that. You could all stealth to the front. Would you like to do Ooh, that? Fun. Why do we need a stealth? Why can't we just Wait a walk second. around? Wait a second, Bear, don't you have the spell Pass Without a Trace? I do, yes. Maybe maybe you could cast that and we could get to the front that way. Yes, um precisely what I said. Mm -hmm. As well, yep, as well. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like your idea what? more Mars, but not because Fine. Trunk it thought it was a good idea. All right. Um everybody take a butterfly real quick. Here you go, here you go. <sighs> the one for you, Tack. She hands it to Togu. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Hold on. Hey, Steve, look, you have a brother. <laughs> wow! Pam. Pam. <laughs> okay, so you guys have a plus 10 to stealth. So can everyone make a stealth roll? Yeah! Oh, that's a molly. Dag. Okay. Oh my god, that was... Oh, thank god, we a have that. Plus what? 10. Ten. You think? Do you want to do our, our well? Other just just tell me well? your your natural roll. Eighteen. Eight. Wait, wait, without the plus ten. Yeah, I mean, I got it. Okay, six. Six. Wait, do you want my nine. modifier? <laughs> yeah. Oh like yeah, modifiers. Oh nine. Okay. Eleven. Fifteen. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie. Nine. Okay, yeah, you guys all did pretty good. Uh, so I think the lowest roll is like an eighteen. So, uh, no, dude. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys all sneak by, and as you go around the corner and start going to the front of this building, you see a couple of guards like running by that don't even see you. Like they're like ten feet away, and they just run right by you into the alleyway you just came from. Who are they uh, after? Um, it's just I holding this think thing. that, and I want to point we at the clue. Make sure that stays hidden. Yeah, yeah. This? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, fine. And I just put it behind my back. Would you like to put it in my <laughs> pile of dirt on my spinning disc? No, it's Silver covered edge. in blood, and it's cool. I want to keep it. I want yeah. Tormund to look at it. Well, I just I was thinking maybe the blood would help hatch my dragon egg or something. I don't know how dragons work. Um, Tormund told my people to. No. Yeah, he'll help with that. And okay, I, can we oh, make sure Tormentor yeah. helps with this? Because I want a fucking dragon. <laughs> yeah, he, I never he get sure. anything I want. Yeah, well, he um, had an experience. Oh, well, that's... Um, uh, right here, oh. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's go! Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I you, still have it hold up. Yeah. <laughs> then I put it behind my back again. You guys get to the front door, and it's just like this boarded up door. Like, like hey, no uh, one's been in this do building. Do you guys for a remember? 
Do you guys remember how we got in the door last time? We beeped a red button. <laughs> Quite. I guess there isn't. Doesn't look like there's a red button. Yeah. Um. I'd like to detect magic, if I could. Okay. Um. Let's see something real quick. Ah, okay. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, I I had to look up a rule technically the distance. So uh, everyone Drink. drinks. Yeah. Darn. Um, it doesn't say anything about you can penetrate most barriers. Thank you for that sentence, D and D. This is why we don't read yeah, the rules. Yeah. yeah this is can. why we don't read the rules. <laughs> Oh no! It's why we read them slowly. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I create like a wizard, and I'm like, I only pick spells that use the word penetrate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, okay, Darrow. Uh, nothing feels magical about this door. Nothing feels magical like nearby necessarily, but something deep inside this building feels very arcane to you, arcanical. Yes, Archaeological. Right. Yeah. There's some fucking magic in here. Uh, we should That's just. Probably tormentor. Yeah, we should just get through the door. Can someone like maybe fish it down, or you know? Fish it down. Yikes! Yikes! <laughs> sure, I try and I. I don't know. <laughs> what do you want? Clap me against do? it. <laughs> I, I just hold up my cleaver. She's like, like yeah, a fish out of water, just like. <laughs> I turned around to Eridris. Like right That's up. offensive. I um, didn't say it in game. Oh, okay, sure. Well, I just look at Eridris like, I can read your mind. You thought something. Oh, God. <laughs> so I hold up my cleaver. Yeah, what do you mean? Can you maybe break down the door? Or yes. Yeah. I run away from the door, and then I turn really quickly, and I run back up into it, remembering how I didn't do it that other time. And feeling really sad and really wanting to make up for it. Okay. So I run and I try to do it. So I, I, I think this is probably like a common sense thing, but there are guards like looking for you guys. So you know in your in your heart of heart that this will probably make some sound, you know. So we can we can roll for how that happens, but I just want like you know that's gonna be loud. <laughs> can I see her like reeling up and react before she does? Sure. Okay, yeah, I, I, I want to ca cast darkness on, like, a majority of the, the guys. The Just the, the, like, are they all kind of grouped up? Can I, like, get most of them in the darkness? Ooh, you mean the guards? Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> I love how, like, he, he had to sit, almost like he was going to stop her. Yeah. <laughs> and instead, he's like, "No, definitely do it." I just have this other thing. I'm gonna yeah, make it I so they can't, it. so sure. that they can't see, but they can still hear. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, so there, you saw like three guards go around the corner. So there's somewhere around there. I would say there's about four or five guards, kind of like snooping around the courtyard, um, like looking like behind like carts and barrels and stuff. Um, I'll say that yeah. two of them are near each other, and the other two are separate and further away. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna let her do it then, because that's not that's not that doesn't help. Uh, I I just want to turn to uh, Mars and be like, um, hey Bear, um, how do you get into Tormentor's place? Well, him and I, um, we we we're in contact through different realms. We kind of have this um like inter realm way of communicating. So I've never actually been here. Like a weird like uh, screen, and we can like communicate. Can we somewhere. contact? Can we contact him and let him know that we're here? Can we? Can we shoot him a, a magic text? I I mean, I don't know how I could we could do that. I mean, your experience, Mars, is mm. you're like how how can I reach you? And he's he's always like I'll call you. <laughs> right. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, Mar cool. Mars is as, not as we're having this conversation, herself. Esmeralda yeah. is like. <laughs> I am. I, I think thing. you're doing it. I've okay. like turned around and I've like, like yeah, like you're just wait. Like, I have an idea. You ready? Put a stance in the ground. Uh, I want to cast hypnotic pattern 
uh, I want to ready it for the second she hits the door around us. Okay. Okay. So it's basically a 30 foot cube. Um, it's like a pattern that comes up and then it disappears. And then uh, they all have to make wisdom saving throws. Any creature that sees it. So, And if they fail it, then they're charmed. Oh, cool. I see. What, oh, great play. This is fun. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so we'll have that be like a reaction to the situation. So, Esmeralda, I want you to make two rolls. So, you don't have to do this, right, Togu? Like, it's, uh, you're like yeah. prepping it. Yeah. So, just to clarify. Yeah. I'm, I'm prepping it. I, my idea is the second she kicks the door and they all look in that direction is when I cast it. Perfect. Love that. Uh, in the range, it says 120 feet. So, okay. Uh, yeah, sounds good, man. Cool. Cool move. Esmeralda, you need to make two rolls, one of which is going to be, uh, Let's do an athletics roll and then also a stealth roll. Okay. 15 for athletics. Okay. Yeah, you're going to fuck up the door. Hell yeah. And stealth. 14. Oh, okay. Plus. Uh, yeah, so you can do what you want with this, Togu, but because you're like looking at all the guards and stuff that are snooping around. Um, the two that uh, are nearby don't don't notice this, but... Uh, the one that's a little farther away on the other side of the courtyard uh, hears something. But Esmeralda, you run at this door. Were you going to just bash it with your body, or is this a cleaver moment? Um, I don't know how. I guess it's a cleaver moment. Okay, sweet. So you just bring this like, cleaver down. On, how do you want to break this door? <laughs> I want it to be like a, like I just, just it's, I don't know. Attack it. Why do you do it? What? Switch. I mean, like, why is it so? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I, just, I basically I punch it. it with a cleaver in my hand. Okay. Yeah. Great. Nice. So, yeah. And you feel like the coldness of it in your fist as you do. And you just after a yeah. running start. I love yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. It's an anime moment for sure. <laughs> That's how I punch. I get a running start. Bring the momentum with me. Yeah, dude. I mean, this door like clean off its hinges. Like. <laughs> Um, and it's like, it like, land. yeah, you, you look behind it. There's like, like a, like a, a, it lands on like a mattress that happened to just be laying there making very little sound. And the only one who hears this is like one guard, um, over on the side. He's like, Oh, what? that was weird. And he starts like, come closer to that area. Um, I want to cast charm person on him. <laughs> and I like, like, uh, I, can I, let me ask you, if I have a reaction plan to where she kicks down the door to cast Hypnotic Pattern, can I not do that? Like, if I can, if I sense that she's getting through without people noticing, can I abandon that plan and do something different or no? Yeah, we're not in combat, so you're not te- like, it, like it, anyway, you're like writing an action. All, all the difference is you just told us what action you were going to do. But, like, we're not even oh, okay. in combat. Like, I'm not worried about this. I, I would let that go either way. Cool. Yeah, I, I just want to cast Charm Person on the guard that's that saw. Okay. Is it a wisdom saving? Uh, it is a wisdom saving. <laughs> no, it's a wisdom saving. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I rolled the wrong one. Okay, so it is, uh, no, it's an 18. Oh, yeah, you for sure beat that, beat me, so that didn't work at all. Okay. Uh, <gasps> when you do that, don't they know that you've done that? That's like a thing with charm person. Yeah, he knows that I, he knows that I tried to charm him. But he can't see you guys, which is an interesting scenario. Um, uh, so he has this like weird feeling. He's like, someone definitely just fucked with me. Like I'm like certain mm. that something happened. Yo, question: Is um, there is there anybody near him within thirty feet? Uh, is there another? There's the other anybody, two. There's matter. the other two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I casted that at second level. Um, so I can use one, I can pick one other creature to try and do that to as well. It's so I'm going to try and do that to one of the other ones around him. Yes. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It basically says at every level, you can add one more creature for charm. Yeah, additional person. target. Cool. Uh, actually they didn't use the T te- uh, the keyword target. It says each creature. That's for you, Austin. Never mind. I get it. Oh, yeah. He fucking smashed it. He got a 19. 
<laughs> so we got two Back people in there. <laughs> All right, sweet. All right, didn't do dog shit. All right. No, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Togu's like, ah, sorry. <laughs> ah, he's like, I'll try again. Ah, fuck. <laughs> um, yeah, so they're both um, like feeling weird. Uh, and they're like something. Something's wrong. And they're like, like getting closer to the door. Did do they? Did they? Did they sorry. say that like in a way that we could hear it? Um, the first guy doesn't say anything. The next one, he, like, looks to your guys' direction. He's like, "What the fuck?" And starts like walk towards you guys. And it's the same guys that then these like black armor tunic, like a light armor. Uh, and it's all black, and then they have these huge scythes. I'm. I'm going to. I, I'm going to say, everybody, don't watch this. Don't, don't look. To, close your eyes. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch this. Tack close your eyes. Co- covers uh, one eye. Cl- close them. <laughs> You're close a good one tack, or you're a bad one. Especially you, little tacky. I'm going to have fine eyes. Close both. Uh, <laughs> Togu closes both and then opens one. Does <laughs> real do, uh, do does one of them look like one of the guards look like? larger and or buffer and or tougher um one of them's kind of chubby and one of them's skinny okay i guess uh i'll I'll, i want to i want to on the skinny one i'd like to expend um actually fuck it i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and uh spend some sorcery points here i'm gonna spend two of them and i'm gonna use twin spell to cast Crown of Madness on both of them, which makes them hostile towards friendlies, essentially. Yeah, okay. There's like a saving on this too. Yeah, the wisdom saving throw. Wisdom, wisdom for days. So you're doing it on how many? Or how many can you do this on? Two of them? Yep. Probably the two approaching. Stop it. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming that that one of them succeeds with a 17. Uh, I, I'll Barely. go with I'll go with that the 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 skinny one fails. I mean, okay. assuming an eight doesn't succeed. Cool. Yeah. No. No. Um. So jagged uh, thorns burst from his head and madness glows in his eyes, uh, ready to attack his friends. Okay, so uh, the situation is one guy came from the like the left side of the courtyard, and the other guy had was it was with another person, right? But and, and you did charm person on him and, and failed, and so one of them started coming. The other one wasn't right with him, but th- he has another person like behind him that is the closest person. If you wish to make him do something crazy, do you get to control him, or is it just I control him and he's he's no longer uh, friends with his buddies? You control him, and he has to use his action to make a melee attack against a creature other than a, himself. Okay. That I choose, I which, guess. So I can choose. Which one? The guy who doesn't know about your guys' existence yet or the guy that m- maybe kind of does? I want to make him attack uh, like the guard that is the furthest away from us. Like I want him to run away from us and attack uh, like attack a guard that there is, is a, just There is a fourth away. guard like way far away on the other side of the courtyard. Yeah, I want him to go time. and try and like bludgeon the shit out of that guy. Okay, so he's like starting to like close in on you guys. This one of them, he's like got his scythe ready, and suddenly these this, this like thorns come out of his head, and just this crown, this like uh, you can see madness in his eyes, as they say. And he just uh, like suddenly stops. He's like <laughs> and like looks over at this guy that's like eighty feet away, and he's like you, and then just starts like running at him. <laughs> Um, yeah, you guys just see him take off, uh, <laughs> at the moment, you know, it's 80 feet. Darrow, did you do that? Don't worry about it. You, well, I, I mean, you, good work, let's get I mean, in there. Yeah, I mean, you, you couldn't have just, like, made, like, covered up the door after we got in? You just... I needed to create a distraction. Trunk it. Trunk it. <laughs> and as he um, says that, create a distraction. You just hear, ah! and, you, and you guys look over in the distance, eighty feet away, to see this head flying through the air. Oh, oh god! My god. Inside, inside. All right, everybody uh-huh. inside. Yeah. Oh, see, it worked. Okay. And I, as soon as everyone's inside, I'd like to see lift it the door. Worked. 
<laughs> and, and close it. Like, <laughs> you want to put the door back. back on the frame? Yeah. <laughs> and I want to use mold earth to like put earth over like, the door that it. she puts back. Yeah. All right. Cool. Like <laughs> the head rolled nice. through us, and Daryl's like, "Uh, you're welcome." <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Dara's getting a little more, a little bit more chaotic as well, this goes fun on. Was that like when you when you introduced Dara? Uh, I remember you saying, "Oh, it'll be really fun because like this character is kind of a dick, but he can get he can have like this great story arc and redemption story, and he's like slowly becoming more and more <laughs> evil." You like, got it's it's like it's it's like a fucking slingshot, you know? You got to go down, 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 and then so, something pivotal happens, and then he just. All of a sudden, doesn't yeah. want to kill everything he sees. You we'll know? get there. Yeah, or he'll get worse, and he'll become the the big the, bad evil guy at the end. Uh, so. Yeah, the, he is no, Griald. No, no. <laughs> this whole time, <laughs> fuck, that would have been a good Whoa! twist. Well, that's out the window now. Uh, so yeah, all right, let's do that. So you guys go in there and you seal the door behind you. Um, inside this building, it seems like no one's been here in a super long time. Most businesses uh, are out of business at this point, uh, with all of the the murders going on in town. And uh, yeah, it's... weird. Who's doing that? <laughs> it's not, us. not weird. <laughs> Who's making it worse? <laughs> Killing the guards uh, too. So... It's probably not the gal with the cleaver or the guy that just made somebody else cut somebody's head off. Like, I don't, don't talk shit did. to me right now, Tack. Yeah, don't talk shit to us. <laughs> and then I high five Darrow. He's <laughs> like still bit. holding the cleaver. I pee a little bit. Yeah, you do. The... Yeah. I use prestidigitation to put the pee back or control water to put the pee back into your urethra. You you no. feel it go no. back inside you. <laughs> what? How did you see me pee a little bit? <laughs> I, just know. Okay. I, just know. I, I wanna I wanna fight it. I wanna try and I wanna, wanna I wanna use my reef. Are you like flexing your muscles to like no yes. yes I am. Can I feel that he's fighting right. against my control water? <laughs> you know what, Sam, I've given you a, enough freebies that you somehow knew he was peeing. Uh Togu, you can attempt to resist the water. Let's do a yeah. strength roll. It's not water, it's urine. Urine. A strength roll? The, yeah. the, the stat that I have minus two on? All right. No, 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 cool. not you, Dara. Not, it's not a contest. Uh, He's just fighting your magic right now with pure okay. urine. Let's go! <laughs> what does that mean? Natural 20! Oh, no. shit. The dumbest <laughs> roll to do. Cheers, everyone. If ever a uh, roll. My dice are on fire tonight. I haven't even had to lie once. Just Damn, kidding. Fuego. Nice. Uh, uh, Togu, by, you, by you, you suddenly have this flashback. I'm going to change the music for this. You suddenly have this flashback um, to this time a long, long time ago in your childhood where you would compete to pee the farthest against all of your best uh. friends. And after losing horribly for years and years in a row, you trained, and there's like a montage, like a bandana, just you just pressing as hard as you oh, yeah. can. Uh, and eventually, Let's hear it for the boy. <laughs> eventually, you were able to beat them, uh, and you became the the, the longest distance peer, uh, and you were the talk <laughs> of the town. You know, it was amazing, and it all like hits you at once. We were like, I can do this, I can do this, and as this urine attempts mm -hmm. to go back into your body. You literally force your Aretha clothes by pure muscle and determination. You force it. I just want to stare at Dara, Dara and be like... <sighs> That's all he does. Well, I'm glad you pissed your pants there, bud. Yeah, so the beast is still in your pants now. Oh man. That was your reward. <laughs> Alright, we'll go back to the music I was playing. <laughs> you guys look around this room and there's a little bit of pee on the ground fresh yeah gray straw that one yeah <laughs> oh weird that's a well, somebody must have died here <laughs> yeah another body fell weird and then disappeared what? is that in your hand what what does it just have in your hand is it his bottle Did he opener? have the bottle opener? <laughs> oh, it's his bottle opener. <laughs> it's bottle I feel like that, that should not make it into the street. <laughs> Is that church key? <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> okay, no one knows what we're laughing about, hopefully. So, uh... Uh... <laughs> That's like one of those unconscious things you just grab and you're thinking about it, you're like, oh! <laughs> is it his fucking flashlight? <laughs> no, his yes. bottle opener is not, uh, not appropriate for children. I'll show it's you. It's a dildo, huh? Don't show. I mean, because right? everything else in this stream is appropriate for children. We can talk about it, but until he if shows you wanna, someone a dick, if you want to see my bottle opener, subscribe to us on Patreon. Yes, there we go. I'll send if you, you want to see, or... if you want to see somebody give a birds and the bees talk with with, with uh, Taylor's bottle opener, we'll do. We'll subscribe oh people. wow! Should we record a little video, like a side story? Yeah. No, that's yeah. We great. couldn't post it on YouTube. No, no. It's well, all about could. the thumbnail, man. The content's take, fine. Yeah. yeah, we'll just put a different thumbnail. It'll be great. It's just you being like... Alright. So, uh, you guys I are in this room. I sent the photo of the bottle opener to the Facebook group if you guys need to see it. Oh, perfect. We, all, guys... know what, we all know what it looks we all know, like. We all I, seen I don't know. <laughs> hey, go, go, go follow us on Facebook for some god-awful reason, and I will post it only there. <laughs> only there. Facebook Why there? Content. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Because Mark right. Zuckerberg isn't an evil bitch. Mark Zuckerberg loves bottle openers. If you're and watching Marky meats. Mark, uh, give us all the money. If you're yeah. watching Marky Mark, like a freaky alien. Also, if it's actual Marky Mark and you oh, are yeah. still in contact with the Funky Bunch, like also let us know. <laughs> Big fans. Big fans. You guys are in this room, and <laughs> yeah! uh, you look around, and there's just dust everywhere. There's all these, uh, all this furniture that's like covered with, like these blankets, or like to kind of preserve the furniture. Um, and it seemed like it was, uh, like kind of a lounge or a bar, like kind of a nice, nice like bar. And um, there's like one door behind the bar, but other than that, there's there's no doors or anything, but just a lot of tables, couches. Um, like nice little like seating areas for for couples to chat and have their date, and uh, it seems like a really cute place. And the bar seems pretty decrepit too. A couple glasses hanging, bottles of wine and different liquors behind the bar. Um, a lot of broken glass and stuff like it's fairly abandoned. Dara wants to pour everyone drinks, um, just to start yes. off. And he and he just it goes he goes back behind the bar he finds like the most expensive shit that he's familiar with and just says, "Everyone, I know it's been a, a weird couple of weeks, but I just wanted to toast to us and the bottle cap brigade because I think what we're doing is super good." And then okay, he well pours... before before you do this, Dara, roll uh, roll to see what you find. Let's okay. um, this. I just want to make it survival, but there's no reason for it whatsoever. I mean, we can. Yeah, it feels good. No, it's going to be, uh, in, like, investigation. So you fine. Uh, I don't have a bonus for my investigation. Nine. Cool. Uh, you find two bottles of amber fire. Um, and you also find some Arabellan dry, which is like... Is it a... like fireball? And it, or, yeah, I'm gonna decide that amber fire is like is like a, a cinnamon whiskey of some sort, um, and Arabella and dry is like a pre-made, uh, like martini, like a dry martini with it already oh. has the olive flavor. Sure. So I, I pour everyone a shot of the amber fire. Um, I say, this will rip the tits off your body. Let's go. Oh, I don't want my tits off my body. I, was, I second what Mark said. It was, was a joke. It, 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 <laughs> it gives you more text. Tech's like, fuck yeah! <laughs> oh, I don't think I want more either. No, it, it oh, just okay. gives you it gives you hair on your chest, but in a, in a colloquialism kind of way. I want to smell it. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's... I've had this before. That's what she said. Oh. Is that what you said as a character? Yeah. Oh, you guys are still talking. <laughs> now we're done talking, though. We're done talking now. Okay. It ends with, that's what she said. Everyone is quiet. It doesn't say anything to you. And you guys yep. take the shots, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is even better, too. And it was like, that's what she, so she said. said we're all like, like, yeah, okay. All right. 
Wonderful. Um, you guys all take a shot <laughs> of this. I, 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 air just doesn't. Yeah. All right. Trunket, do I get friendship points with you because I poured everyone a shot? No. Okay. No, Daryl. Just asking. I want to lean over the bar and take air no. just shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. And while I'm doing it, I'm like, you not know, gonna have this? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Esmeralda, make a constitution saving. <laughs> ah, god damn it. <laughs> uh, Rolling like shit tonight? Yeah, and I mean, I, I broke down the door, so I shouldn't be too. Upset. Maybe, maybe yeah. you're, maybe you need to use some dice from diceenvy.com. Mm -hmm. The best dice. Yeah, these Last the bottle cap dice are shit. I bought these dice somewhere else, and they suck. <laughs> <laughs> As a five. Die. <laughs> okay. Uh, you, can we can we make a dice envy commercial that yeah. we just model after the bod commercials from like the early two uh thousands? -huh. Dice. Yeah. Oh. I want your dice. dice. <laughs> Can we make dice, a dice baby. commercial modeled dice. after this? I, like... I want... <laughs> I've always I thought want it'd be funny dice. to get a slow-mo shot of like somebody dumping a shit ton of dice <laughs> all over them. But, like, yeah. wait. Oh, that would hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's no it metal does. one. It's like hot at first till it hits her. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, God. <laughs> We they, can dip them all one, in. Like, goes that they choke. First, too. They're choking. Yeah, it, it's Let's bad. Get one of those it's face bad. shields, and then you wear a face shield, yeah. and then <laughs> at the end, it's like Jared's. Uh, <laughs> it's Jared's. Uh, or, <laughs> you know those old like SCL TV commercials where it like they're like, "Do you feel like this?" And it's like a sepia tone, like, like, "Oh my gosh!" And then they're like, "Well, you should get this thing then." And then it's, it's in all in color. And yeah. Then, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a five. <laughs> yeah. Um. You. You have a. You have a, a. An aggressive tipsy going on. Yeah. I got. Mm. I'm so drunk all the time in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Want another shot? You always go for two, yes! and then I think you roll. Yes, I do. <laughs> Poor Esmeralda, another shot, mm. and I take one with her. Okay. Es I'm Esmeralda. You're drunk. I leave and try to find Tormentor. As they're doing that. <laughs> you're, you're officially intoxicated. I want to do another. Piece. Okay, cool. Again. All right, everyone <laughs> who's taken two drink. drinks has to make a constitution saving rule. I'd like to drunkenly follow <laughs> them to find Tormentor. Tax trying to stay off the bottle. <laughs> Whoa. <High> commitment. <laughs> I got a, a dirty 20. Yeah, you're solid. You don't feel like anything happened. Am I so good or not? No, you're drunk. Okay, cool. You're not yourself. So, uh, okay. So, Ergis, where would you like to go? What does the room look like? Uh, yes. So, the, behind the bar, there is a door. But other than that, there are no other doors. Um, it's just like a very big bar lounge. Okay. I check the wall for buttons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm like, that was the answer. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Um, you know, uh, I, I kind of want to, like, carefully inspect the door before I just like barge open knowing that the tours like to do some funky shits to doors. That's fair. Tom and Tor's a bit of a trickster, so yeah, I'd be cool this trunk it. Thank you, Bear. You I rhymed that sentence and no one noticed. <laughs> you are impressive in general. Um do you wanna do <laughs> like an investigation or what do you want to do? <laughs> um yeah, I mean that, that's that's how the many first investigation roles sure. have you done this session? You think a shit ton? Yeah. Here we go. Nat twenty. Hey! Let's go. You're gonna get us so drunk tonight. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I think I'm. Um, uh, Air. Just the first thing you notice, like you walk up to it, you're like, "That's a fake handle." Like the handle on it is Boom. like it's like doesn't even turn. It looks like it looks dumb to you. Like that is so badly made. What the heck is that? Fucking nice. Um, and then you just kind of look around a little bit, and then you just see this little like tag sticking up underneath the door. It looks like a little like blue like paper. Like you know how you put like a little marker like that comes out the side of a, a book, so you know right to where to turn yeah. the page. Yeah, it looks like that yeah. just like popping mm -hmm. out. Okay, I want to look at it. 
Yeah, you look at it, and it's like, oh, it looks like a little mark. It looks like a little paper. And that's it? Stub. Okay, yeah. I just want to pull it. Okay, yeah, you pull this thing, and it's almost like... Uh, hold on, we got to change music. This is magical. So you uh, put this song. I am, and I am vigilantly listening and looking for fairies. Okay, you pull this thing, and it's like activating uh, a pop-up book. And as you pull this, uh, like the door, you realize the door, and like you could tell this whole time, you're like, this is a stupid door, this is like flimsy as heck. And as you pull on this thing, it's like uh, like a pop-up of a door. And it like slowly starts to like unfold. It's like, as it lays down. And uh, there was it wasn't a door, it was just like this cardboard thing that was activated by you that. And as you like push it back, the door comes back, like, back up. Uh, but you're able to like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so on the other side of cool. this is literally just a coat closet. Cool. I go in there. Into the coat closet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you pull uh, it, you leave it pulled I'm down. So looking for buttons. Yeah, there were buttons. Going to Narnia? <laughs> um er, yeah, Air just so you is just start a coaching. Closet or is it a wardrobe? Be honest. <laughs> so you just go through this thing, dude. Uh and you're like looking between <laughs> stuff. And you just watch his air just like moves beyond these uh, these coats, and you just don't see him anymore. Maybe we should all follow. Into the closet? Well, you just got out of there. The Is that Eric, are you right? I mean, trunk it. <laughs> Can you hear us still? You can't. Trunk Dara it! To Hello? <laughs> Dara <laughs> drunkenly <laughs> stumbles in. <laughs> You've yeah, succeeded gonna... your con. Safe. <laughs> I'm still drunk. Yeah, you're, he's faking it. You guys can all roll an insight to know if he's faking drunk right now. And I just like I come in and I'm just like, hey guys. <laughs> I think everybody knows you're faking it. Well, we're gonna go with that. I, gotta, I think I think you're stone cold sober. <laughs> I keep Which I keep up the act anyway. Tank. She's like, I give a you're fuck. not fucking drunk. <laughs> Dar Darrow should drive. Darrow should drive. <laughs> <laughs> the raspy voice. You've been yelling all night. <laughs> oh man, so good. Um, okay, so Erdus, this is your experience. You guys, are, are you guys all going in there? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So Erdus, this is yeah. this is your experience, and you guys all experience this too at different times as you go through. Um, but you walk through these like hanging clothes. And it just seems to open up into this hallway. Like, all the sound from behind you is just, like, gone. And it's just quiet in there. Uh, weirdly, deathly quiet. And uh, I think it's a deathly instead of deathly. Deathly quiet. <laughs> Death is involved. <laughs> you will die from the quietness of this hallway. And uh, so it I'm seems like I'm going to Google that saying and see what's correct. <laughs> I actually don't know anymore. I feel like it's got to be deathly, right? Because deathly quiet. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I say deathly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's. Is it deathly? It's deathly. It's death. Quiet. Yeah, deathly quiet. Like, like dead. Like dead. You're dead. Like everything's dead. Like D E D like, dead. Yeah, it sounds like death in here. Is is yo yo? Is deathly a word with an F, <laughs> or is it deafening? It is death like yeah, dead? I try to Google deathly quiet, and it directs me to deathly quiet. Mm. All right, I feel good about ah. that. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, cool. I what, didn't make what, a mistake. What is, what is the word? What is the word? Deathly. It's a. What the hollows. Adverb. Adjective. Quiet is quiet. An uh, adverb. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. So you look down this hallway and it's Where from deathly I quiet. <laughs> God. Sorry, it's anyway. it's um, deathly with dead for us. And uh. It looks like Wait, this hallway. Does it work? We have to drink what? if we look up rules of conjugation too, or just rules this of conjugation. That's not a rule of conjugation. That's not God. even. Yes, it is. <laughs> that's that's, that's not like conjugation. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? No, I don't. Is it con... I don't is it know. Con... Now you're making me right. question me. Go ahead, is Go ahead and talk about it. Conjugation is a thing. <laughs> It is, it it is a thing. I just grammar? don't think that this that that's what this is. No, I'm nervous. No, what I miss what Taylor said with this. <laughs> I majored in, in writing and I have no idea. 
Con- I, major- I, mean- I majored in butthole, and I don't know either, so don't <laughs> I, about it. I know That's that like, so conjugation, like in, that. like in Spanish, they have different yeah, conjugations, yeah. right? Like of, you know, uh, of yeah. the verbs. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. The bottle cap brigade. We're now an English course. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody turn to page 12 in your textbooks. Yes. Turn to page 69. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn, turn to page four, 420. It's, that's not what it is. <laughs> what are we? Oh, yeah. Dude, that's exactly what it is. In it linguistics, the... conjugation is the creation of derived forms of a verb. So like... Of a verb. Deathly. Like deathly But, but like quiet. whether or not something is, is a like noun that. or a verb or an adjective is not its conjugation. Oh, that's okay, cool. I defer. Esmeralda stumbles correct? into that- the coat closet with and it, it, with papers <laughs> still in hand. We like, are all high. What's as fuck. happening in this room? <laughs> it's uh, too small for everyone. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can uh, please someone clip all of that uh, for us <laughs> um, so that they can watch it later. I basically. I played music while you guys did that, and it was great. So you will have to watch it later. So um, did you mute us all. No, I should have. I should just muted you guys. You like, you guys we'll like, be right back. Yeah, and you guys, are, yeah, it's just like a, we'll be right back. Screen. Um, yeah. All right. So, guys, you, uh, Eric, just you walk into this, and it's this long hallway, and it seems to be getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and there's like this tiny door at the end. I I put my little. Pink, my, my my little pink pinchers out. And I, and I you grab it. a little handle. Got a little guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't. Let's just stop doing that. You when you do that though, as soon as you make contact with it, you like notice your hand like getting smaller as it reaches for the door. And by the time that you um, make contact with it, your hand is the same size as the door handle. Mm. Oh my god! But he has a regular forearm. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I put my dick in it. I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> we'll finally be proportional. <laughs> Oh! Sorry. <laughs> so I open the door. <laughs> and I put my dick in it. I've never heard you say that sentence before, but I think maybe that's for the best. <laughs> I <laughs> felt like it had to happen. I've heard Taylor say that a couple times, but, you know, never he got you. I'm a bard, dude. What do you, what do you expect? <laughs> okay, so you it's open this slut. door, Eric, just slowly, and there's these bright, like, uh, like, I don't want to say almost like neon, but they're pure white lights. And they almost blind okay. you. Like, it's hard to see as your eyes adjust. As you c- continue opening the door, you see that it, you're in this, uh, like, huge tinkerer's laboratory. There are giant, mm. there's like a giant spinning disc in the center. And each side of it, as it turns, um, like, as the, the disc is on some sort of, like, axis. And as it's, like, turning, um, it's, it's like you can see, like, the map of Magna. And slowly, as it flips over, you see this totally different map of like this this parallel world that's exotic and completely different colors huge landscapes and all these and there's like this massive blue lake in the center of all of it um and it's it's like this bizarre thing that you're seeing there's uh, all these like steam powered like robots these bots working on experiments all over the place and you can see behind like this red and white striped curtain um that this huge big puff of smoke like explodes like poof. When you just you're like ah again. Um, I, uh, excuse me, Tormen, Tormen Tor, are you? Hey, hey. hey how are you? You here? Have we all made it through? Yeah, I mean, Erigus was first. He, let's say you say that Erigus, and you walk through, oh, and slowly sorry. everybody follows. No, it's okay. You guys all were going there. Um, do you guys like make it through there? And uh, you all step like out of this door and into this room, and uh, everything seems normal size to you, for the record. Like you feel like everything's the same. Um, and uh, out of this curtain, you just see this head probably like, "How? <laughs> Who are you guys? Hey, uh, we're, uh, we're 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 friends of uh, of of Calvin and, and Ivan. It's it's me, Mars. Tell me. Oh. Mars, um, my jewel, uh, and he walks over to you, like grabs your hand and kisses it. Oh, Mars, it's been so long. Like a couple of weeks, I have missed you. I know, I've missed you too, love. He like um, grabs your hand. He's like, uh, Mars. Uh, 
Um, everybody, uh, uh, this is Tomato. Um, and, and Tomato, I, I want to step in and, and shake his hand. Be like, I'm Togu. Oh, yeah, sorry, Mars. I, I Like, the second <laughs> Mars introduces, I'm going to step in and, like, yeah. put my hand out. Be like, yeah. I'm Togu. He's like, a friend of mine is a friend of mine. <laughs> he, like, shakes your hand, like, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You guys are all great, special, wonderful, unique. He's very kind. He's but yelling. <laughs> You're already have a headache. She's already hungover. I'm already hungover. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm drunk. He's yelling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mars, what did you say? I'm sorry, I, I missed it. Um, I already forgot. <laughs> Mars. And then oh, suddenly yeah. looks at you, Tack, like, you. Yeah. Which Tack? <laughs> uh, looks at Parrot. <laughs> I don't know what Tax. Oh, damn. damn. He just thinks that you. Something. Something's wrong with you. Oh, there's a lot. Something is an understatement, but. You're really old for a goblin. I'm actually really young. <laughs> On the inside, where it counts. Am I right? Mm -hmm. and, I, and I pat him on the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, you also seem like you're in something. Something's wrong. Something's magical about you. Yeah, um, I'm... Oh, go ahead. This isn't my body. I can, I can tell that. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at Whoa. you. You don't even walk right. Something's something's off about you. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you know Taylor and Vonnie? No, old friends. Mainly Vonnie. She's kind of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I don't say that lightly. <laughs> <laughs> I still like her, though. I like everyone. I'm nothing like my brothers. <laughs> I'm Parrot. Oh, oh Parrot. Parrot wonderful boy. to meet you. Shall we? Shall we shake hands in the Parrot. honorable goblin way? Tip to tip. Yeah, he just takes his pants off and looks at you. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna do it. <laughs> By the way. Crazy looking down there. <laughs> you. I, I, I haven't done much with it in a while, but I used to make a pyramid. Um, I'm what? actually Taylor and Bonnie's child. You see, she made love to a goblin and me a goblin man. No, 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 no. I give him the whole backstory. Okay, yeah, he's so like, I you repeat it again. Poor soul. And he's like holding your face like, I'm, I'm so sorry, little parrot. I'm so sorry. No, thank, thank you. You've been through so much. So much. It's it's hard to think about. Yeah, it don't, well, don't think about it too much. Yeah, you've already moved on. Out. So, uh, good, good, good. <laughs> so, uh, there's something I need, I need to tell you guys. Something mm -hmm. very urgent. Really? I, what? I just, <laughs> I just and we went on break. I, yeah, I we'll get, see you guys I soon. Get, oh, fuck. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> oh, my yeah, music is a play for some reason. Yeah, that was good. On. Uh, we'll see you guys I, in a couple minutes. I'm all, and... I, I, I'm all cummies about it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you are, dude. I bet you fucking are. We'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Bye. Cummies.
Hello, we are back. Thanks for waiting. Uh, we talked about some very uncomfortable issues, and in the end, it turned out that Austin had something he wanted to say to everyone. So, whatever you want to say here, Austin, it's whatever. Hey, everybody! You're watching the Bottle Cap Brigade. We're a weird as fuck D and D live stream that streams every two, uh, Thursday. Ah! We stream every Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> We've been doing it for almost a year now, and it's fun. And we've been growing a bit of a community. If you want to join our little community, go uh, follow us on the Instagrams. Uh, like us on Facebook, but primarily follow us on Instagrams. We don't really give a shit about Facebook. Um, also, as we've been streaming, uh, our longest affiliate and greatest supporter, big thanks to DiceEnvy.com. Uh, Go to DiceEnvy.com uh, slash the Bottle Cap Brigade. Uh, pick yourself up some dice. Uh, it'll support uh, our stream. And uh, we love you when you do that. Um, but also, you can get yourself some kick-ass dice. Um, they got all different kinds of materials. And they send them in really pretty little baggies. Um, also, uh, check out Incarnate Maps. That's Incarnate with a K. Uh, ink on it um, they, and, and build yourself some cool maps for, uh, for, all, for all your campaigns and shits. Um, and Shit. yeah, shits. Uh, follow us, <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube, um, do all the things. We super appreciate it and think that you are all really neat. The Ball Cap Brigade. See how much cheese you can eat in one sitting. Yes. Yeah. I want to die in a riptide of cheese. Mm. That's, <laughs> like what that? That's what you said to me the last time we were hanging out, too. It's your Wait. favorite song. Bye. I'm lactose intolerant if I eat cheese. Cheesy rip sure tie? Oh, rip <laughs> tie. <laughs> oh, God. I rip tied it last night. Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, and this morning, actually. Cheese. Yeah, my toilet was just a bowl of rip tied. <laughs> All right. Well, and with that, we're going on break. Yeah, I, it's, <laughs> oh, it's bad if the DM gets involved in the jokes because then no one ends it. Except you did somehow impressively. All right, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna go in. I gotta play music. That's like a thing. Let's do this one. This is a good track. We'll Bam. play break stuff. Okay. Play cheesy rip <laughs> <laughs> Uh Tormund looks. He's like, ah, I'm something to tell you guys. Um, and then he, he turns behind him as this like there's another explosion on some experiment. He's like, ah. And it's like his two little robots go like, like you see steam like public, as they just like take off in that direction. He's like, ah! and he goes behind the curtain and starts messing with something, trying to fix. You can just hear like a turning of like a wrench and like a, like new explosion, like. Um, and he's clearly like working on something that's breaking. Are you figuring out how to hatch my dragon egg in there? You <laughs> just like turn like dragon egg, and he pops out like, who's got dragon? Goes back to doing Me, stuff. You small piece of shit. Just kidding, I love you. Yeah, okay. Uh, you're like, you're like, I don't, I don't I know. I generally <laughs> like everyone, but he's rather difficult. Does he often get that from others? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it's because I'm worth a lot of money and I give it to people whenever I want them to do things. And they don't seem to appreciate that. Um, and, and it, you like, guys, you hear like this, like all this, like steam that's shooting out from whatever he's working on, like eventually stop, like, and you see him come back and wipe the sweat off his brow. Ah. So why do you guys travel with this guy? Money. <sighs> I'm, I'm like, he, he, have you been drinking? I'm, have any of you heard of a, <laughs> a, a person called oh. Lars Ulrich? You might not know of him. He's from Kalak. But I'm like the Lars Ulrich of the group. Uh, if that reference yeah. doesn't make sense, it's okay. Is that a metal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. The drummer. They all hate him, but he just funded the band. You know? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I mean, there's been looser based friendships before. So, ah, well, okay. Um,. Yes, so, uh, Tack, Parrot, sorry, Parrot, yes, that's your name, <laughs> Parrot, so, uh, you need, mm, you need your body back. Oh. Um, I actually haven't thought of that. I just thought I was stuck. 
Uh, hey, uh, hey, Tack, these um, these guys are pretty incredible. Uh, yeah, they can they can do a lot of really really cool stuff with. I don't know, flipping you back to who you used to be or who you want to be. It's kind of incredible. Changed my life. Oh, yeah, uh, he's got a different body. <laughs> yeah, he did for a little while. He was a fat weasel. Ezra <laughs> says that out loud. Oh, yeah. You had a different body. Yes. Well, um, your situation is quite unique. Uh, as the most sophisticated brother of the Fators, um... At least that's, that's, what I, that's what I say. Don't tell my brothers. Seriously, don't tell them. Um, okay. Uh, but, uh, Parrot, I think... Uh, I, uh, let me do some, some, some tests. But it seems like maybe something's... Uh, you, just, you just seem like... Hmm. I, I, I don't want to say... Let me uh, put a hypothesis together before I uh, speak too soon. Yeah. That, that would change everything. Okay, come with me. And he just grabs your hand and starts to pull you behind the curtain. Uh, the red and white striped curtain. I just kind of look back a little nervous, like... Uh, I'm like, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. We're here for you, Tech. Parrot. <laughs> so you don't sound so enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what you hear oh. while he's yeah. behind the curtain. Uh, I, actually, Tech, let's just do this <laughs> together. Uh, uh, but you just, you should, no, 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 just take it off. It'll be fine. Uh, I, I yeah, I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh, I knew it. You were hiding something in here. <laughs> Where I keep my vacuum. Ah, I see, I see, I see. And you're, sure. you're like, oh, it does work quite well. It grabbed all of it at once. I know there's sometimes there's some spillage, but it's all you can do. I can't believe it all fits in here. Yeah. They're the underpants of holding. A lot larger than I thought it was. Yeah, everything's covered in shit. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. And one of you guys, like, peeks around. <laughs> and you see that he's just, like, rolled up, like, his arm sleeve. And he just has this weird mole that he's, like, touching. Um, he's, he's like, you really should get that looked at by a doctor. I know, but I, I can't really see it since it's on my butt. <laughs> I can't tell if the mole's gone bad. <laughs> The mole's gone. Back. I like point to a mole a on his arm, and he's like, "But it's on my butt now." <laughs> <laughs> I made the situation PC again, and then you made it not. Um, okay, so uh, anyway, he runs some tests. He's like, "This one goes in your mouth, and this one goes in your butt." And it, oh, oh no, it's the other way around. We're good thing you didn't put him in first. <laughs> yes, we used this yesterday. <laughs> um, and he walks over to the machine and he like hits the button and it's just like did it did it did it like starts printing out this little thing. Um and, like, it's like did it it's like this little scroll and he like rips it off. Wow, okay. Oh, oh, oh no, that's not good. That's not good, that's not good. Oh, wait, 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 tell me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, okay. And then he like creakles it up. Ah. Well, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Okay. Bad news first. Uh, bad news. Um, it seems that your body is, it's lost. Yeah, it's been dead for a really long time. So yes. I wasn't very hopeful. But it is actually one of the few perfect transfusions of a transfer of souls. There was a word for this that I made up a long time ago, and I've forgotten what it was. Uh, it's a SP word. Like souls. Souls for. It's, it's. No, it's. Spice. It has it's soul in it. It's an SP. It's like, it's just short. It's a short I sound. Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti. I'm, I'm afraid to say something. <laughs> There was a word for this. It was like a soul steal or a soul. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna message it to you. What I think it might be. Okay. It's cummies. It's cummies. Let's let's not beat around the bush anymore, you guys. I feel like I want to try and find it. It is just so it's a soul snatch. So it's a snulched. Yeah. Yeah. Snulched. That's what I it is. I found it. I had to look for a while. 
Alright, this is the most perfect- How are you, Dr. Seuss? This is the most perfect snow ching I've ever seen! This is- Oh. This is the work of a soul stone. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was told. Right. Erdris, it was- Toku, it was a soul stone, right? Yeah, yeah, um... Uh, Lord Carlock had it in his, uh, in, in one of his, you know, little towers. Uh, um, we, we've had run-ins with, uh, some soul stones as well as your brothers before. So we know the power that lies with the Tor family. Yes, well, we know about all things. Uh, we're very, uh, very interesting upbringing. Father very much valued intelligence, wisdom, and the pursuit of... Intelligence. So, uh, that's how that saying well goes. Well said. <laughs> um, but, um, I don't know if you know yes. this, but, uh, do you know how a soul stone is made? I have absolutely no idea how, like, 80% of the world works, to be honest. <laughs> I'm, like, 14. <laughs> I still jerk off, like, six times a day. Are you serious? Yeah. Is that what that was? Those are rookie numbers. Only six? Those are what? Holy shit! You wanna take an edge off? You'll be done four by noon. What? Roll for performance. Reference. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so... It's a slide of hand. I mean, one in the morning and one at noon. Okay. Uh, Jim Conhey. Yep. Uh... A long time ago, and you see him like look off and like enter in the story. Hold on, I'll like change the music. A long time ago, a great, great wizard tried to extend his life. Through trial and effort, he found there was no way to do so, but by mere accident, managed to take the life force from another. And thus began the story of Ether Magic. Have you heard of Ether Magic? Oh. We have been around a lot of dark ether magic. Yeah, we've been kicking a lot of ether magic ass. Yeah! Uh, it's a, a very dark art. Uh, no one in the magic or, or the science community appreciates it, or, or, or will even... Uh, it's taboo. It's taboo. That's the I right. do. I want to appreciate it, just so you know. Teach me all about it. Who is this death? <laughs> Who is this guy? My name's Darrow. It's nice to meet you. I'm mm. from the Rossbrook family. I'm do sure you, you're familiar. Do you want to meet in the traditional goblin way? Yes. He's, Please right, don't. don't he spits into his yeah. hand and reaches it over. Oh yeah, I, I spit and I uh, I take some gold and I like press the gold into the spit. We'll we'll blend our customs, and then I. Uh, I reach it and I kind of like rub the gold and the spit all over his hand and I, I take his hand and I put the gold coin in it and I say may peace and magic be with you that's how you shake people's hands in real life too yeah yep. yeah exactly <laughs> like when he did this I'm like he actually does that I um, base my characters off of reality so. yeah it's just it's just different <laughs> Sam's that are yep. in there all the Sam's uh, okay and he's like ah, oh. of me and he like goes over to this little boombox. Yes, he's like, I think it works for this. He's like, Oh, I haven't been able to turn this on in years. And it just starts playing this music. I'm like, I don't know. It yeah, that's what you great. get when you hang out with the Ross Brooks. You get live music. <laughs> okay, so uh, a soul stone is a combination of several hundred souls. Oh, um, draining the life so force from guy. them, and um. It creates such power that you could even do things like place your soul inside it. And somehow mine accidentally ended up in this one? Uh, I, I, I don't know the specifics, but uh, for it to have happened, a uh, hundred other people at least would have had to have perished for you to survive within that stone. Oh. Anyway, on lighter subjects, I think I can help you, um, but uh, we will have to reconstruct your um, 
your body. Uh, it, it may not be easy, um, but I, I believe I can do it. Um, let, let me just look in this. And he starts rifling through these books, pulls out this scroll. Ah, uh, oh, yes, this one. Okay, so, um, as, as, as far as I understand, uh, if I use my multidimensional radiation array in, in conjunction with the Gibraltar rostrum plating, of course, I, I could turn you uh, back into your former self. Uh, there, there's just there's just one one small catch. Yeah, it sounds like this there, could go wrong. It's gonna be duck feet. It's fucking there, duck feet, is it? Catch! I swear to God, there's I gotta always have a dog a catch. penis. Uh, or a duck penis. Uh, you have no. a duck penis. What? Why would you think that? Because ta- because Togo uh, had uh, duck feet uh, for a while. Yeah. Um, Your brother gave him duck feet. I mean, I don't was it, I don't think technically it was his brother. I think it was. Oh, it was, ha- it was Sir, Sir Harvey. Harvey. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure he that he literally well, grabs. I know your brother saved me. He grabs your mouth, parrot, as you say that. He's like, "Don't you speak that name." <laughs> Wait, do, do you not like that guy? Okay, he's, why? he's always I listening. Shady, dirty, evil little goblin. How is he listening? Okay, right here. Kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> he's a goblin, right? But anyway, it's, like, it's just... Uh, he's ruined everything. He takes all of the wisdom that we put together as a family and from other sources... And he doesn't, he doesn't, he plays with the taboos as well as the good, the good, he's, he's in, he brings balance to the science community. Who is this? He's a wild card? He's the chosen one, or so they say. What? Wait, he was, he's the chosen one? The, 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 the one with the wolf? He, He went down a direction I couldn't follow. I am so yeah, confused. Really. I just realized your brothers are both gnomes. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> nice. <Yeah>. Oh wait, <laughs> is, is Tormentor a, a goblin? No, yeah, he's a gnome. I've been doing a goblin voice this whole time. <laughs> Maybe they're kind of similar. Uh, though. He's, really. he's just got a raspy voice. He smokes mm. Virginia Slims. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm adopted. That was my nickname in college. Adopted. Yeah. Uh, let's just roll with it now. We're already there. Adopted. He's a goblin. He's the adopted son, third child of the tours. Uh, Twice removed. Yeah. Uh, just, just, a, just a horrible man. Anyway, moving on from him. Um, the only catch is, is not that she'll have duck feet or, or a rat penis or whatever you said. Um, no. Uh, the the only... duck feet aren't that bad. Yeah, they, they go every. Sorry, as far as I know, ducks, a rat penis said, would be an improvement. <laughs> it would be an upgrade. I see. I see. But, uh, Why are you no. so mean all the time? <laughs> you guys can hash this out another time. I, I, I just have one more sentence to say. And the thing is, uh, the only thing is, I'll need a large supply, a surplus, if you will, of draconium. What Where do you get that? draconium from? Ah, well, it's a well-known fact. Uh, that you only get Chaconium from deep within the caverns near Mirror Lake in the Fey Realm. Uh, it, it's basically, uh, wherever an extremely magical dragon rests for a long time, it changes the ore around it, uh, creating Chaconium. Um, but anyway, uh, Mirror Lake is the largest body of water in the Fey, and he, like, points to, like, his revolving map, and he clicks this button. It's like, shh, it's going to locks into place on the, uh, the Fey Realm. And you see this, like, glorious map. Ah which I don't have a visual for anyone at the moment, but it's just this beautiful map. Um, and it's like all these like crazy, uh, like um, terrain that you've never seen, right? Like these huge mountains that make no sense. And even like floating uh, like peninsulas, like like earth is just floating above it. Um, and then there's this huge lake in the center of the whole map. Um, he's like, right there, that's Mirror Lake. Um, pretty dangerous area, but um, realistically, if you guys are heroes, you should be fine. Dorman, wait. So you're talking about the Fey Realm? Can you contact the Fey Realm? Oh, well, um... <laughs> I mean, I have a device that'll help me do things. Our our friend is lost there. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Ma- Mars, have you seen her? 
Or her? Him? No, um, Are they? no, it's, it's, I, I find it odd that I'm also in this realm. Seem to have passed through some doorway when I was doing some clerical work for you in the Fey well. Fey well. In the Fey well. In the Fey well. <laughs> in the Fey well. Um, and and I ended up here, and I think we both got a glimpse of each other. Um, but it seems that their friend crossed, and I crossed over here. Have you ever heard of something like that happening? No, I mean, it's it's like a like a wife swap kind of situation. I guess you could call it that, yeah. Like, like trading. I places. look at Togo, and I'm like. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> It's just ready to place. Yeah, it's, it's look, a popular TV show. I'm looking at both Togo and Era just have that conversation, like. <laughs> <laughs> like you're drama me. Like, ding, 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 ding. I literally just thought of it like trading spaces. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just, that's all the I thought too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mar, uh, Mars, have you been back into the Fey Realm since, I, I guess since you've come into the, to, to Magna? No, I, I I've been here this whole time. I mean, since when She's we first like I went stay around. And that's where I where I did, and then I came back over somehow. Yes. Well, you, you see, the the uh, the the density uh, in the Fey Realm is, is significantly higher, much harder for for Magnians to survive there. Some reason they can come here. Uh, I don't really understand it, Mars, but you're technically just. Uh, just a, a stronger, sturdier person, having grown up there. True. Yeah. Well, anyway. I second that. <laughs> Weird vibes. Uh, and, <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'll need Jaconium to pull this off. Um, uh, just uh, one, you know, small hiccup with that. Um, I, I'm, I'm confident that I could, you know, create a way for for you guys to to go there. You probably you can maybe find your friend when you do. Um, but your bodies can't sustain themselves in the Fey Realm. Uh, but yeah, think, how do you fix that? I think I might have a solution. I uh, I will say that it's kind of a dark way to go. But I think it's still the answer. Like deep magics. <laughs> he grabs you. And says, Don't say that. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. <laughs> He's always listening. Who's always listening? Oh, shut up. Okay. Um, <laughs> just don't say anymore. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, anyway, so um, uh, so in in uh in to get to the favor room, I think if we have uh maybe like at least one pure bottle of condensed ether powder. Um, uh, that, that that should do. I think I might. I think I might have that. Really. Uh, what? <laughs> We're all like, and the DM's like, what? <laughs> Does it, is it okay if it's mixed with almonds? Um, uh, I've never been in asked this question before. We could see. I'd like to pull the four ounces, three and a half ounces of almond flour that I have <laughs> from his nut armor out. And just say, do you do you want a bump of this and see see if it's e ether enough? <laughs> I thought I really gave you a bottle of ether powder. <laughs> I'm glad I, really, I'm I'm glad I was I really fuck stressed you, out. Like, when did I do this? <laughs> um. Yes. So. Uh. Okay. So. Um. Yeah. He just looks at this. He's like. Ah! Um, okay, and he just like puts some on his thing, puts like uses a little thing like, <laughs> whoa, baby. <laughs> yeah, hatch my dragon now. He's like, you have a dragon. Please. Yeah, hatch it. It's uh, a green earth dragon. He goes, the draconian. The dragon draconian. I assume etymology wise, it's pretty similar. If you bring. If you bring more, we're not having that conversation. If you bring Draconium, I can help you guys uh, with, with, with Tack uh, or Perry. I'm sorry, <laughs> but but also I can help you uh, with your dragon problem. 
I have another problem for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> three for three is a deal for you. What is this? And I hold up the cleaver. Yeah, he's like, oh, oh, go. Oh, it's just a knife. No, it's a cleaver. And I slam it into the ground. He's so like, it like oh. sticks straight up. I'm like, it's haunted as hell. I did it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, what? You guys, um, I, I, I don't want to be like rude or nothing, but she seems like uh, inebriated, holding large, scary, sharp weapons. Uh, you're it's hard to get them out of her hands. You're inebriated. <laughs> and I, I try and pull it out of the ground. Yeah, it's like I try, I'm trying to get it out of the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna yes. give you like disadvantage, but you can try. Oh. I can totally see this. Like every drunk person who's ever dropped their phone, that's this right now. <laughs> like the. What's that twenty? What was the other Everybody yeah. drink. Awesome. I freaking wasted on a disadvantage roll. The other one's uh, well, if it's strength, hold on. Uh, the but if you crit, seven. it doesn't count on disadvantage, uh, right? Yeah, you're done. You're done. Does it? It's I seven. didn't think so. No, I just wanted to just share everyone I wasted a nat 20 on something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> You're inebriated. I dropped this. <laughs> and I just tried to pick it up. Let's look. I'm actually curious now. Um, it's oh, probably no. a house rule. I, I, think no. it's a home, I think it's a house it's, rule. It's totally a house rule. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't. We're not doing that because I I haven't done that on many rolls in the past for the NPCs. Um, anyway, so but yeah, you. What was your other roll? It was like a a four. A four. Oh, okay. so I got Nailed seven. It. Yeah, I mean, like it. So at first, like you reach down and like perfectly, you don't even miss the knife, and you just grab it as like your natural twenty, and then you try and pull it, like use your strength. You're just like, and you're just like hand slip. You're like, it's so cold and weird. It's haunted as hell. Yeah. <laughs> it's haunted as hell. And then I sit on the floor and I start crying. Oh, God. <laughs> what a scenario. Um, I, I don't know much about the, the haunted thing. I mean, I've, I've heard a lot of rumors lately about, about like haunting and ghosts and spirits and stuff. Yeah. Here, Ooh. you can have this one. And I pull the cleaver that I have, not touching it directly. I use like a cloth or something. Okay. And I just like hand it to him. I'm like, yeah, um, we're pretty sure it's that murderer guy. Oh, the, we the saw cleaver. this pop out of a portal. Yeah. Yep. A portal. And he's like yep. holding it with like And it's cloth. green. I'm pretty sure it's fucking ether magic. Yeah, it was a green portal for sure. Uh, that does not bode well, my friends. Doesn't bode well at all. At all. That's all right. We'll <laughs> kick his ass. The cleaver made me think I died. Look what it did. Oh, Look what it did to her. Oh, it, you're like on the ground now, so, so he's cold. tall enough. He's like tall enough to reach your shoulder and he like touches your shoulder like, it's it's okay. He like pulls his hand back. Oh, I'd be careful touching her. Ah! <laughs> 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 he like almost falls over. <laughs> and then okay. I just get up and I start walking around like nothing happened. <laughs> um... So if you guys can procure uh, a bottle of c condensed ether powder, um, I, I think I could find a way to... Um, I, I can easily send you to the Fey Realm, but have you survive, uh, we'll take the ether powder. Uh, Torment? Yes! So our, f so our friend has been in the Fey Realm for a while. Uh, I don't think she had any of this powder. Is... Is she is she still okay? I I can't speak for certain, um, but however she ended up there, uh, hopefully she had a way to survive. Maybe uh, a, a medallion, a rune of some sort, something that will allow her to maintain her corporal form. Corporeal. Corporeal. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Julie's just a lifeless fucking corpse. She's just dead. <laughs> I would die. She's just dead. You're Mars now. You have to date Togu forever. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs>
Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I mean, we could maybe use the phone and we could call Mars's house. Possibly someone knows something. Yeah, can we do that? It's, if you don't know, a phone is an invention of mine. Um, it's spelled <laughs> F-O-N-E-Y-H. Phone. Just bad. Everybody's we've just been, doing we've that. We've been hearing you say it. I don't yeah. know why I'm trying to pronounce it. I feel, that's weird. Yeah. Have you? No. Uh, <laughs> Wait, would you guys like to try it? Yeah, yeah. Can I try it? I'd like to try it. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Okay, come okay. with me. What, come with what, me, big blue man. Right. And he just grabs your, okay. your pinky fingers like, me, 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 me. Come me. Okay. Good luck, bud. He, he brings you <laughs> Don't do it. Watch your butthole. Always. Right. <laughs> Everywhere he goes. Like... In this company, <laughs> always. It's like That's a really like... dramatic, like, <laughs> like, I mean, like his like crossbow. Attack. <laughs> yeah. It's a really dramatic watch your butthole. Yeah. Um, as... Always. Yeah, <laughs> as... <laughs> As I'm walking away, I just fart the tune. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> what tune was that? I actually don't know. I can. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a thing. Oh, okay. I thought it was a song or something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was, it's I was this tune. For the rest of it. it <laughs> if anything, it's. <laughs> if anything, it's like the full house, like touching moment. Oh, I <laughs> got you. I'm with you 100. percent It's the transition music. And they're like, I'm sorry, Dad. It's okay, yeah. sweetheart. Uh, Mars, do you, do you want to call this? Well, maybe you could communicate with some of your, your close ones. Um, yeah, that, that, that would be great. I, I can't remember. Who, who do you you live with? Some people, I think. Well, yes. My father's of the kings of the of the Denthria. So, I mean, of course. I, I would call them. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I know all about the Fey Realm because I I I I've studied it, uh, and that is certainly a place there that I knew about the whole time. All right, give me this phone of yours. Okay, yes. Um, and, and, uh, and he comes over and he grabs your pinky finger. Come with me too. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, and takes you guys both over to like this big uh, mirror, and the mirror seems to be like kind of like wobbly. Um. And uh, he like walks over to this button. He's like, okay. And then he like hands you these big like headgears that have uh, these big like kind of um, ocular lenses above. Um, and he just like le reaches up to you to like try and put them on your head. He's like, uh, down a bit, please. <laughs> he's like, okay, you. And he like smacks it on the air, just kind of aggressively. Like, oh, sorry. <laughs> and then Mars like very gently puts it onto you. Mars like, okay. Uh, so uh, press the button on the side and uh, then you just Look at the mirror. And you do that, it's like, ksh, ksh, and then another, like, ksh, 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 each one getting smaller and smaller. Um, these, like, glasses, basically, um, on this helmet. And each one has, like, a different color. And it's, like, creating, like, this prism effect. And uh, as you, like, look at it, all these colors are, like, pointing at this mirror. Let's change colors here. Colors. Let's change music here. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah. Mars, you, uh, are, uh, Mars, you and Eridus are looking at this thing, and you see it like starting to wave like back and forth, um, and slowly it like it's, like starts to like seal, and uh, it turns to like ice. Looks like it's freezing, and then slowly it's like that's like melting, and now it's like a waterfall coming down, and slowly becomes like this perfect clear crystal, um, and you're looking into like your living room of your house, Mars. Um, and in it, you see one of your family, your, your dad, you have a dad, you don't have two moms, you have a dad and, uh, <laughs> you, okay. You have two dads. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So, um, that's what, yeah. you see your dad. Um, and he hasn't like noticed you yet. Uh, Dadathy, Dadathy. <laughs> Is that his name or what you call him? What I call him. Okay. <laughs> he walks over. Is that my little Mars? Yeah, can, can, can you see me or can you just hear me? Oh, look at you. <laughs> and he like starts to read, like, oh, you're not. 
You're not actually here. What do you, do you see me as like a I don't know, like a like a hologram of sorts? He's like really close to the screen. He's like, I can't. Uh, can you see me? <laughs> Doing this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see me, I'm, darling. I, I'm in Magna. I somehow crossed over when I was helping Tormentor with some things. You're in Magna. I am. Yes. 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 Um, How did you get there? <laughs> oh, Marzi, you're always doing this stuff. I was. Like, I know. I know. I know. Um, but we're we're trying to come over. We're trying to go to Mira Lake. Do you think we could? Um, I don't know. Borrow some steeds or something. If we were to swing by really quick. You guys are not going to Mira Lake. Yes. You know. You know that's off limits. We are going to Mira Lake. Mazi, and he like puts his hand down. You're not, you're not going to Mirror Lake. It's, it's. Father, it... I'm 312 years old. <laughs> it's about time you start treating me like a child. Go oh, off, queen. <laughs> Am I also <laughs> here yeah, on the call? <laughs> who's, that, yeah, who's that with you? It's not, a, it's not a boyfriend, is it? Uh, uh, it's, it's uh no. Uh, that's, he's not my boyfriend. He's a little. He seems blue. Too blue for you. Wait. This is. I look at this and I go, wait, what are they talking about? What? <laughs> he said boyfriend. <laughs> I want to I wanna go stand by Mars. I want to go be like, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, hey. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice to meet all of you. Oh, you can see Come him as well. The gnome. Um, I, I don't think he can see me very well. And Togu, as you stare at this thing, you just see like this. this it's just like this blue wall of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I want to walk back to Esmeralda and be like, I didn't see him. <laughs> Let me check. I, I push him aside. <laughs> I walk over too. <laughs> yeah, none of you guys see anything if you don't have the helmet on. Um, uh, uh, this um, is Eridris. Eridris, this is my father, Edithy. One of the kids it, of Edithy. That's her dad? Oh, uh, 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 a pleasure A pleasure to meet you. Um, it's a, it's it is an honor. Donna as well, yes. Oh, wow. Well, Eridris. Um, Erdrich! Just... Let him talk. I'm like, I'm on the phone, Togu! <laughs> no, I know! Erdrich! Let him talk! They're just cast everything okay press the digitation no. on Adris and or Togu to make them look, like, really good and rich and, like, affluent. Don't Erdrich. need to do that to me, huh? <laughs> no, I don't, Esmeralda. Erdrich! <laughs> I like that Joe is just doing homework while we're doing this scene. So, uh... <laughs> I'm reading the Twitch chat. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so Erdris and Togu both look very rich and wealthy. Um, <laughs> and he's like, oh, you guys, you, you guys, you didn't seem well off. Um, yeah, they, they, they do all yeah. right. Yeah, um, we're good. Can, can me and my friends come over? I don't over know why I said that. I, know I can come over, but... You know, I, I have a couple, uh, handful of friends. Um, maybe we could come over, have a quick bite to eat. It's been a, you know, minute since I've seen you. Um, maybe we can borrow some steeds, and then we will make our way out. How does that sound? Um, yeah, yeah. Mazi, you know that I. You're right. I mean, I, I have treat, treated you like a child for such a long time, and. I, I I am sorry about that. Uh, you you just you you're my only princess. You're you're my girl, and um, I guess I just don't want to lose you. <laughs> I fart. <laughs> 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 um, I well, of course you don't want to lose me. I don't want to lose you either. But I mean, I spent many years away from you in Magna, you know. And, you know, I'm an uh, adult. I'm don't adult remind now. me of the guru. I know, I know. Isn't he it? made you do hot yoga. Alone. He's a weird guy. He just, Who made he you just do hot yoga? You. He just watched you do <laughs> hot yoga. Who made you? What? The only one in the room, at least. <laughs> what? I'm like, we're on the phone! <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I show back. Eric just, oh, Eric just is, like, twirling the, the string of it. Like... <laughs> Get out of my room! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to like put, butt my head in like to air just and be like, what about the hot yoga? <laughs> I'll, I'll talk about it later. 
Don't tell me about it now. <laughs> We're on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I go back over to Togo. Like, they won't tell me about the hot yoga. Wait, who? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, stop. <laughs> Who's doing hot yoga? <laughs> you know, I know some cockeyed Mars is with. Wait, <laughs> Mars. Wait. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Phone. Hold on. Air, just give me the phone. Give me no, the phone. Just, Air, just, give me the phone. The phone. Just, no, I need to talk. It. I need to ask a question. She, then ask it and then give me the phone. They're referencing Brick, dude. Remember Brick, the guru that did hot yoga with oh, Mars? That's the name of him. He had eyes that looked different ways. The Aarakocra, crazy man, that gave you dead per dead Togu lungs? <laughs> I yeah, I remember <laughs> him. Are you sure? Because that's who she did hot yoga with, Togu. Your dad's just here. I thought it. she did it another time. I don't know, man. Sorry, you I was her this about... whole time, bro. Just let me ask about Jolie. Is this a bad okay, time? Okay, Lassie? okay, 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 Erdrich. But like, you talking to her dad? <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, hey, uh, has he asked about me at all or no? I. He doesn't know who you are, man. <laughs> so, uh, Erdrich. Uh, need need a solid. So right? sorry about this, Mister Edithy. Um, um, yeah, it's just I mean, maybe this is a bad time. Maybe we should talk. Um, when you guys are more well, available. Uh, um, I just real quick. <laughs> um, is there is there anybody that that you've you know caught wind of maybe being in the Fey realm that's not supposed to be there? <clears throat> um, she's she's about this tall and i don't know how tall jolie is but i move my hand to however tall jolie is oh, she's about this short. tall yes um yeah she's uh she she's a kitling she's a she's a kitsune halfling um very uh she's she's kind of fuzzy Wait, very little, cute little, little cute Might ears be running around. uh furry yeah yeah, yeah. i think he said she, she looks like a fox right something like that yeah yeah what what, did, what does she look like Mars? a fox girl half yeah. fox half Halfling or something? Yeah. No. I, I think, no. um... Oh, yes. I, well, let me think about this. Um, no. Yeah. I have not. Well? I thought it was unlikely. The Feywilds. Well, shit. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Taylor, I don't know... Well, if you happen to notice questions. anyone running around, uh... Like, maybe yes. just, like, like, you know, let them know that that the Biocat Brigade is looking for them, and just wanting to make sure that that uh, that she's okay, and and maybe just like, you know, keep her at your house, and and we'll get there. Yeah, it's a a, a lost In friend a of yours. In a not creepy way. Tell not yeah. creepy. I'm on oh, the phone. No, Tokyo, where did you? Okay. Um, <laughs> Dare, where did you come from? <laughs> <laughs> Dare's been there the whole time. I'm directly behind you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like, um, quite, quite a, quite a surprise. Um. <laughs> Mars, are you, are you safe? Is everything is everything okay? Yes. Okay. Everything is yeah. definitely okay. Okay. I promise. Wonderful. I mean, Bye -bye. it seemed like maybe a bit that um, something was off, but um, maybe I'm wrong. I'm totally wrong. Yeah. That's got to be it. Well, I'm excited to see you. I think we have to get a bottle of ether magic to cross over. Um, oh, and yes. Then, and then we'll, we'll be there. I don't know how long that will take, but it is nice to see you, Father. Dadithy. It's been a while. You too, Marzi. Um, uh, tell Tormund um, I said hello. Um, give him my best. And um, we, we miss you so much, uh, Marzi Pen. We'll see you soon then. All right, bye. That was my best attempt to put really Marzi's accent. He's like, oh, um, you, you two and um, the rest of uh, your um, clique. I hope that they all have uh, a wonderful um, evening or morning, whatever time it is there. Um, and, and talk to you soon. Miss we you, don't Pen. know. No one does. As far as we know, it's been two months. I'll see you in one to nine months, my <laughs> friend. A year, day. almost a year. Okay. You know. <laughs> what's what's uh, your mom's name, or is it you have a mom? Uh, me? Yeah. <laughs> Mars uh, is mom. Uh, like Mars? Yeah. Uh, no, she's two dads. Oh, for real? Okay. What's the what's the other dad's name? Edithy Clementine. Clementine? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is it Clem? How do you turn this off? It's like his face is really close. Like, ah, that is 
That's a good joke. Hey, oh, there oh it is. There God. it is. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. I got Taylor. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, you guys are now just standing with like these. <laughs> they're like two feet long of like different lenses that pop down. Um, How did we get this off, Tormentor? Can you take mine out, please? Oh yes, of course. <laughs> and he like grabs it. Oh, uh, how was that? How's it? How's your dad? Did you guys see Jolie? My dad is great. That's a really fantastic no. technique you have. Yeah, it's how, it's how you and I have chatted for years. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's so different when you're can on you the. Outside. Yeah, I, I, I installed it at your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. It's exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I take mine off and give him, give it to Torment. Oh, thank you. Um, so, uh, um, so, uh, did you put your French? Anything over there? Uh, no, no, they, they, they haven't, they haven't seen her around. But I, I'm, I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure she's fine. Oh yeah, you know, it'll she's, be fine. It'll be fine. It'll good. be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it'll be fucking fine. Yeah, the yeah. Feywild's only about um, you know. Giant place with a lot of weird monsters and creatures. Yeah, yeah. Really safe. it's the most no, dangerous place. Danger around it. every corner. It'll be fine. It's yeah. a giant world. You never know where you could pop out, and the giant world is probably bigger than this place. Hopefully, she didn't pop up in the wastelands where all the giant dinosaurs are. Yeah, that would suck. Hey, so I got a question, real fast. We have to track down some ether powder for you. Um, where do we do that? Also, can you tell us anything about Saints Paradise or what was that place, Mars? The the oh, red uh, red heap. And yeah, those. those. And like any any. Well, I, I can't say I know exactly where you'd find uh, condensed ether powder. Um, I mean, anyone that consistently practices uh, ether magic would likely have quite a storehouse of of such things. Um, Aha. Uh, no, no, you mentioned two places. Okay, uh, the, the Red Heap. I believe that used to be a butchery in town. Uh, the town butcher. Um, oh, weird! Okay. Oh. Yes. Now, they went out of business some time ago. Uh, I don't really remember what happened to them. I think I do. Okay, yeah. Yeah, three uh, brothers. Excuse me, Tor, where's, um... Three of them. Wh where is the Red Heap? Uh, it's, it's, it's it, like if if there was a window, he's like it's like right, it's roughly like sixty feet that way. Oh, it's close. Uh, yes, yes, it's the building next door. Um, ha have Perfect. you have you noticed anything weird with the red heap over the last I don't know short time? Um, well, uh, I'll say this. Uh, the, the amount of times that I've been outside of this room uh, in the last uh, 12 months would be um, zero. Oh, my God. You need to see the light of day. No light. No <laughs> light. Oh, I want to kind of, like, look around the room um, and just, like, notice the 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 nature of it. It's evident um, if that happens. he's been living there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, is there like a bucket somewhere? Uh-oh. A bucket? Like a like a tack poop bucket or like a bucket yeah. in general? A tack poop bucket, yeah. Oh no, he has a yeah, very sophisticated clean. steam powered uh toilet. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. But there's a lot yeah, of like clothes. Nice. It's clear that he hasn't washed himself much. Um Okay. But there's just like clothes everywhere and like yeah, in between like all of his different tables that he's working on things. I'd like to go up to Tormin and just say it's okay. We've all been poor at one point in our life, other than me. And I'd like to cast press to digitation on him to make him look a little bit cleaner. And then I'd like to wrap one of my two remaining really nice knitted scarves around him and just say, "This will make you feel a little bit better and warmer, friend." And you like to be like, "This is nice. Is this cashmere?" It's oh, I a really nice it. knitted scarf. He's like, oh, and he's like, I can use this as a loincloth. You what? sure can. And he like, Just it, remember, it I gave that to you for he's, later. He's like, I've never felt so safe and secure. <laughs> yep. Remember. Like, like floating on clouds. Remember, I gave it to you, Tormin. Yeah, he's like, I, th thank you, Daryl. Um, you've done a lot of things that I 
have not enjoyed in your small time together, but uh, this one was uh, a much of a positive impression, I would say. Um, thank yep. you. Remember only this one. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. And he's like, you know what I have to others. say to you, Daryl? There's something I've been wanting to tell you all night. Or morning. What? What? We're going to go on break. <laughs> I literally bent down to look at the time like. Yeah, like we're way yep, past. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you in a couple minutes and we'll see what happens with this story. I've got a lot of session and a lot, uh, no time. Okay, so here we go. Bye bye. Boom, 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 boom. RP party. Hello, we are back, and uh, let's kind of expand on what we were talking about a second, Joe. Um, Joe, do you remember last week when you pooped your pants? Yeah, it was because I was so excited because of all of our new followers and mm -hmm. subs that we've had on Twitch from last yep. week. And I poop. know some of you are new, so you could go check out our YouTube, youtube.com forward slash the ball cap brigade and catch up on some episodes. We also have a like arc synopsis. So if you feel like watching, you know, 80 hours of content's too much, we break it down in a couple hours for you. <laughs> we should do another one of those. <laughs> yeah, we, we should. should. Yeah, for the last arc. Yeah, we need to for the last arc now. Um, Vernon, you are? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> did we do one for the most recent arc? We, we did, we did. But you might be close. Oh, uh, I I, who knows? There. Who knows? I don't know. I wasn't there. So... Um, yeah, and then you can <laughs> pop on Dice Envy like we mentioned before, check out Incarnate, Patreon, and if you uh, don't want your house to smell like shit or you're hiding smoking ganja from your parents, you can check out a few burnt hairs. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they can still smell it anyway, but at least... <laughs> And now it's, it smells smell better. Nice yeah, they just get a nice mix. Smoking that fruit berry cron. <laughs> yeah, I I smoke weed to cover up my farts. Yeah, I smoke farts to cover up my weed. Hey, hey you did. God dang it! Got you, cat. <laughs> I fucking beat you, dude. Get out of here. I was my being polite, <laughs> like, oh, now Sam has something to say, and then I will say this sick ass joke next. <laughs> yeah. Sam, yeah. Sam, you should feel honored that you thought the same joke as Pat Lazar. Yeah. Wow. As a famous Back. comedian, fuck yeah, well, dude. Welcome to touch oh, her feet. Famous. Like Thank that's you. yeah. <laughs> My it's... favorite was like out of anger and spite. Uh, Kat, you just disappeared out of the screen. The I... second sense, you're just like fucking, and like disappeared. Fails. Either that or punch, and I just don't have enough forearm movement right now. So I just went down. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, you're just let's let's go back into the session here. Um, you guys are just in Torment's uh, in his laboratory. Um, he's like, well, yeah, uh, I, I can't say exactly. Laboratory? Laboratory. <laughs> Laboratory. Where he shits. <laughs> it's technically the same place, so. <laughs> anyway. Amelie du fromage. Um, and so you guys Ooh. had just asked about two places. Uh, the Red Heap, and he explained to you, he thinks that used to be a, like a butchery. And then you asked him about another place. Um, Erdis, do you want to ask that question again? Yeah, so um, thanks to you so much for telling me about the Red Heap, which used to be a butchery. Now tell me about Saint's Paradise, because apparently the Mama Corporation wanted to demolish it, and we found 
the only guy from the Mama Corporation with a cleaver in his chest. Uh, right after he had fallen and gotten pee all over everybody. Anyway. Uh, yeah, do you know old... anything about Saints Paradise? What's with dead bodies peeing on things? That's, uh, it's just like such like a thing now. I don't know, know, right? I don't know. It happened Weird. That's a crazy. lot. Like, did, did he pee on you, Togo? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so hard. It smells yeah. very yeah. distinctively like gnome urine. Squishy. It like was what? a gnome. What? Yeah. It like, was. It smells. Uh, you squishy. smell like gnome pee. Yeah. I smell like gnome pee. Oh, I don't know if that's right. That's that can be. I mean, well, I guess I guess I, I, I turned to Esmeralda. I'm like, oh, maybe maybe that was maybe it was a gnome that died. I think it was a dead yeah, body. I, that was I a think gnome. It was a though. big gnome. It's a, I mean, but sometimes gnome pee can get mistaken for other animal pee, especially uh, as those creatures are passing away. So I, yeah. I can understand you. I can understand your confusion. It's okay. What, yeah, and what creatures are that? Are those? What? Yeah, uh, no, really I, mean, about, I mean, we're on, we're on a time crunch here. In, in enlighten us, Togu. Yes, I. Uh, I would love to What's learn that? more about this fascinating discovery you've made. Uh, Discovery? You didn't know this? Uh, to my fairly extensive uh, study of biology, uh, and especially into the uh, 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 waste of other animals and creatures. Um, I've spent weird. at least 19 years on that subject alone. Um, it's a I, I didn't very notice. weird uh, subcategories. I can taste any urine and know what Field. animal let it out. Oh. Huh. An usual trait. Indeed. A powerful I'm glad, one. I'm really glad that Darrow didn't hear that because I feel like he would have done something <laughs> about it. Did I hear that? <laughs> <laughs> um, your character did, but you did not. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> because if, if Darrow heard it, I, I want to figure out how he did it. <laughs> Oh, he does it. Anyway, so this is the deal. Um, Damn it. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. The um, um, I believe that was the old travel center. The, the old travel center. I mean, most of these places have closed in town, as far as I know. Um, yes. Uh, business is hard right now, I think. All right. Is there any property available for purchase? Uh, businesses are? No, no doubt. Uh, my voice is starting to go away because I've been doing this for too long. But I think um, <laughs> that um, that there possibly is uh, uh, prime real estate. Very cheap right now. Very cheap. Okay. Uh, would you maybe, while we're on our way to snag some of those, would you know who I could just purchase the town from, for chance? I think that's quite a big feat. Um, so I'm going to say uh, no. I don't know. Okay. All right. Any guesses? Do you have a guess? Um, <laughs> let's open up the map for everyone here. Ah, uh, well, I, there's always the Great Hunch. They kind of run the town. Um, I'm sure they could, um, uh, you could talk with them, I guess. Do you think they would be friendly if I, uh, came and made them a fair offer? Well, it's the headquarters of the Great Great Hunt. Um, which is, uh, you know, uh, and you guys all know this. Um, it's like the only is that international like a reference. It's like, uh, oh, I actually don't know which are well enough to speak to that, but uh, it's like, um, this would be funny if I've created the same thing as Witcher without playing or knowing anything about the Probably Witcher. Didn't. Uh, Probably it's, didn't. Uh, it, it's like, this is the only like international like religion, if we call it that, that the, everyone agrees. Um, it's almost like this like peace treaty or something. Like they all know. Um, and it's like a guild that exists everywhere. Um, and it's like to hunt uh, demonic creatures. Oh! Okay. The opposite, but yeah, yeah. Um, all right, yeah. Um, and, and I'm familiar with that, right? I mean, ev it's it's everywhere in Magna. There's H it's HQs okay. everywhere, yeah. I, I just want to turn to everyone and say, can we stop by their headquarters before we go uh, get Dragon Butthole or whatever we're doing? Okay How about we me. swing by after? Either way. 
Oh wait, I just can't Good. fucking forget Andrus. And he you walks over dragons? to you, Andrus, and he gra He's like, "Those are my berries. Stop eating those." Oh, sorry. I, they're just very good chocolate berries. You're like you're um, like Yoda in that play I've seen. You just eat the stuff. It's not yours. That's my lunch. Anyway, yeah. um, do, do, uh, do, 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 Dara, do. when you said dragon assholes, are you talking about going to the Fey Realm before we no, go to the no, Fey no. Realm? Stop by the Great Hunt. Well, yeah, just before you know, after we yeah, leave that's here, fine. yeah. I'm down for that. Great. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I, I, I wish you the best of luck. Um, and, and make sure you bring back the condensed uh, ether powder. We'll need it. Yeah, of you course. Um, Torment, we have to get it. Torment, I just have one more super fast question for you. <laughs> yes. Um, have you ever heard of any way to... Um, Unturn a vampire? Ah, yes. There are, there are, there are ways. Uh, it's not easy. It takes time, a lot of rehab, uh, rehabilitation, rehabilitation, <laughs> rehab. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. Um, <laughs> But, rehabilitation? Uh, no. Rehabilitation, thank you. Ah, uh, but... <laughs> I got you, um, Doug. Yeah, I appreciate you. Um, but over time, I, uh, I believe such things could be possible. It's, it's certainly outside of my knowledge. Um, the changes that take place are not just um, switching souls or, or altering. It is, it is a massive transformation. Um, one that changes the very cells and DNA of an individual. And it's not easy. It's being cheesy or a vampire. <laughs> excellent well um well thank you for for all the things yes uh my my brother may know more on the subject what which brother i have so many brothers <laughs> <laughs> the, the second oldest oh i don't ivan tor Ah, uh, no, yes, yes, that sounds right. My brother, my brother Ivan, yes. Oh, um, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought maybe you knew. I, Ivan Tor died. He, what do you know? He died. Uh, yeah. I mean, the, uh, the, the, the entire city of. Of South or got, got sieged by by Griot and uh, and he he died as part of the siege. In fact, shortly before the siege, um, by by one of Griot's minions. Hey, Finn, is he's gone? And you just see him like plop on the ground, like sitting, staring at the ground. Hey, Finn. Doesn't say anything to you guys. Uh, um, you're really sorry. No, no, no. Uh, leave, leave me now. Uh, of course. We can, um, we can talk la later. Um, I'd like to tighten up his scarf before we leave. He has a scarf? He has a loincloth. <laughs> yeah, tighten that up. <laughs> he, has a, <laughs> I can... he has a loin scarf. <laughs> Make sure his balls are very supportive. <laughs> yeah, you just like tug on it, and he's like, he's like, just not having it. You know, he just doesn't even care. Um. Well, I mean, um, we'll go, we'll go take care of these things, and uh, and if you think of anything else that we can do for you, um, just I don't know, send a send a messenger. I'm sure you got some cool little steam engine. Yeah. Like, he just he has like no, a wrench and he's just like drawing like circles on the ground. Yeah. Hey uh hey Tormund. Um I wanna go sit in front of him like crisscross applesauce, like directly in front of him. I just be like, um Hey, uh I know I I sort of mentioned this a little bit before, but um 
I know that the that what the news that Eric just just told you is is kind of hard, but uh, I uh, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be here without your family. I wouldn't be here without the tours, and I wouldn't have these amazing friends like Eridris and uh, these amazing people like Mars or these wonderful new friends like Daro and and Esmeralda, not to mention this. this Whenever you mentioned Daro, I'm like, well... I, did, did I hear him <laughs> call me a friend? Yeah, you guys are all right there. I, I, start, <laughs> I start fucking crying. Uh, oh. Um... And I just want to say, like, I, we, we have come a long way and we wouldn't have come anywhere and I wouldn't have come anywhere without your friends. I'm sorry. I I'm can come here I, or I, there I take, or anywhere. I take 300 gold and I just, I slip it into Togu's pocket and I try to make it so he doesn't notice it. And I'm uh, just bawling. I uh, see Darrow crying and I start crying again too. Text but I, I I want to reach up and I want to grab I want to try I want to reach for um Tormund's hands and see if he'll hold my hands. Um yeah he's like ho- he's holding this wrench um and as you like make contact with his hand you can just feel that it's like shaking. Uh and our friend Parrot here has been struggling and not himself literally since the day we met him. And I know that with the power that your family has and what they've done in the past, we, I have complete faith that you can help him. So I just want to say, first off, thank you. Because again, I wouldn't be here without, without you, but I also know how powerful you are and what you can do. And we're so close to bringing Tear it back to himself. And yeah, I just wanted to let you know that if your brothers have gone or if a brother has left, it it wasn't in vain. And it was um it was helpful to the world of Magna because you helped this crazy group of six people. So I just wanna say thank you. Yes, yes, I yes, yes. Love you, Togu. I love you. Um. Yes. Uh. Yes. Well. Um. Uh, Togu, you're, you're you're welcome back anytime. <laughs> uh, it's. Thank uh, you, Tommy. Yes. Well. Well, everybody, we should be headed out. Um. Yeah, and uh, and again, Tormund, if if you need anything, just uh, you know, send a messenger, and uh, we'll take care of it. Uh, and I just, yes. um, I just kind of want to round everybody up, and I go over, and like I'm I'm kind of like motion motioning everybody towards the door, and um, uh, I assume Darrow is still kind of crying a little bit. I am bawling my eyes out. Okay, um, I just. Uh, 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 I, I'm kind of suspecting Darrow's crying harder than everybody. So I just like, I put my arm around, you know, on his, sh- uh, around him and like, and like, it's, it's, a, it's all right. It's all right. And I'm bringing everybody crying. to the door. I'm not crying. You're crying. Yeah. You, you that is, you that, that, that is correct. Darrow. What yeah. is, Come on. What is that in your pants? What are you doing? That is Steve. He's, he's my, he's, He's my snake. His head's just okay. popping out looking at him. Why, why can I hear him talk? Well, hi, Steve. Wow, you can. Oh, shit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys open this door, um, and Eridus, you open it up, and it looks like this, like, like this huge hall, like for giants. Um, mm, cool. Bef- before we leave, I want to um, take a remaining bottle cap that I've got and flick it to Tormund. Okay. Yeah, and he's not really looking so up I... at you, but like lands next to him, and like you, you watch. And he has, like, <laughs> he has, like, this one. Yeah. Like you snap it. And, like, um, and it lands. It, it lands like next to him, and he's like, 
he like crisscross applesauce on the ground and uh mm. it like lands next to his knee or something you see him like look over at it and then keep staring at the ground um and then you guys don't see yeah, this but yeah. a- after you guys leave he does like he does pick it up oh Right, I think so, I only so have, we're... like, one bottle cap left. Yeah, <laughs> gotta check that inventory. So, as you guys go through this, like, you literally, like, you're like ants walking into a, a room is what it feels like. And as you keep walking, as you get to the end of it, you're like, you can barely fit in this little coat closet. Mm-hmm. Except for Tak and Togu, you guys, you guys are fine. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can someone open the closet door, please? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh... I mean, wait, who's first? I think Air just because I was kind of like motioning. So I, oh. well, I, I mean, I was kind of motioning everybody. Oh, so I'd be towards the rear. Okay. Hey, I mean, I don't know if it matters hugely. I mean, you guys go through the door is like still open. Like somebody you go through has the to coats. open the door, and it has to be the first person <laughs> that got there. Okay, uh, Mars, you're on a mission, so you go first, and yeah, you experience that, and everyone follows you, and you get to the end of the coats. You open through the coats, and you just see the the whole room with the closet door open. <sighs> Okay. Um, hey, so everybody, um, you know, before we, we go out to our next thing, I just want to, so, I mean, we're, we're all on the same page, right? About what the game plan is. Yes. Get the powder. We, we kind of, yeah, no, no. I mean, well, okay. So, yeah, I mean, so I'm thinking, I mean, Torman said that uh, somebody who practices the ether magic would probably have storage of powder. It's also evident that Cleaver Dude is using ether magic, some portals I mean, around the place. We've seen those green portals pop up and they match the portals from the bugs earlier. So, yeah, so, you know, we go, I we take out. It was uh, magic, that's all. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I mean, I figured, wait, and didn't you say you got kind of like haunted when it happened? Like it was very cold all the time. It was very cold all the time and it was haunted as hell. Uh, okay. But right now I'm so, thinking now it should, could have been magic. I mean, well, and then also on top of that, the Red Heap, which is the place next door used to be a butcher shop. Butchers use cleavers all the fucking time. Didn't two guys so, get murdered there too? It yes. is. And Torment also said there were three brothers at one point. Oh, yeah. That's true. We gotta find that third <laughs> brother. Well, that maybe. third brother's probably our dude. Um, and I think we start next door. And I wouldn't be surprised that once we got in there, we found a connection to the, to the Paradise place. Maybe there's some kind of like tunnel or some shit because both of them coincidentally are run down and abandoned places and and they might have been trying to protect the other one yeah this is fishy shit so cool are we cow address air address oh i'm sorry sorry as... I, mean, I, I, I didn't mean that esmeralda this this is unusual <laughs> thank you thank you uh so, Erdrich, do you think we should go Red Heat first? Yeah. I mean, it's right yeah. next door. It's like 60 feet away. Let's not yeah. forget about going and purchasing the town. Because I think that's... that's... Yeah. Sure. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, Erdrich, <laughs> I'm right behind you, man. Oh, well, I figured we could all just kind of do it like as a team, you know? Oh, yeah. And, uh... I, guess, I guess not like right behind you like this, we... like... I am behind what you think we should do. Well, I like to also think that was kind of a team effort. I mean, you guys. Yeah. Anyway. While they go there, can I go to the. Can I split <laughs> from the party? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucker. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Daryl's like, you guys go that way. I'm going home. <laughs> it's like, well, um, well. I think uh, I think since Operation Mama and Papa is complete, um, we don't need to use code names anymore. And just be Bowcat Brigade and uh, Mars. Um, 
the guards might still be looking for us. So is there something that you can do to lay us down some cover? Yep, everybody take another butterfly. She pulls some more out of her, her hair. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> All right, one for you and you and you. All right, pass without a trace for one hour. Oh. Um. All right. Uh, we're getting close to wrapping up, but uh, you guys look out the window and you see that um, it seems mostly clear. Um, you you see the sight of this guard who's like he's not like now attached to this like signpost, um, and and he's like tied up, and you can tell that like he's still like like freaking out and going crazy, like trying to like kill, um, and. There's like a couple guards like watching him, making sure he doesn't escape. Clearly, the one that Daryl made kill all of the other, start to kill guards, and uh, so yeah, you can see two guards in the center of the courtyard, and one that's tied up. All right, let's definitely sneak past those guys. Really? Yep, sneaking, sneaking all the way around all of them. Should we go by this house place? Sounds sure. like go buy Wait. it. So yeah, because uh, I'm gonna open Wait, up the map so everyone can see real quick. But um, you guys are in the the halo and tail. Um, you're in the front entrance that goes out towards the uh, um, courtyard. The courtyard. And so the, oh yeah, and that's the only entrance, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah. that little square is like kind of where you see the the guy that's tied up. So like fairly so close to you stealth. guys. Yeah. Okay. So it's. So, are we going to Yev's Manson? Or... You guys want to go to the Red, to the Red Heap, Heap. I, I think. No, so we, we came out straight of the Halo Oh, the Halo Red Heap. And Tail. It is actually yeah. a thing. Sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah. the Red Heap. So, we, so, the front door for Halo and Tail, or the door that we came in, is like the closest to the square in the middle of the square, right? Yeah, it's, that's the only door. Yeah, and okay. it's pronounced Yev's Manson. Thank you very much. Okay. Is it though? I'm glad that's the thing because part of me thought you might have misspelled mansion. It 100 percent is that. <laughs> <laughs> I fi- it's I figured it was a typo. Yeah, it's but now now it's store. now it's yeah <laughs> Yev's Manson, <laughs> and he's French. Manson. So if you go there, he's French. Yes. Yeah. Oh, bon- Bonjour, yes, Manson. I, am, yeah. I don't oh, know how to do wow. that accent. I'll look that up before we get to that. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Please don't. Just watch. <laughs> Daryl's like, watch. I want to go there. I want to find it. Right now. <laughs> Bro, okay. I played Lumiere once. I got this shit in the bag. Oh. Um, <laughs> like, Ooh, hot brag. So is anyone going with Darrow? No. No. <laughs> I, I kind of figured Darrow was sneaking off. He's doing, oh, like from you guys? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Daryl, are you doing that, or do you did you communicate that? <laughs> oh, I, I I'm not trying to sneak. I I'm telling everyone what I'm doing. But what are you doing? Uh, I I can't remember the name of it because I didn't it's write the it down. Great the, the Great Hunt. The Great Hunt. The Great Hunt. I should have known that. I thought I would remember it. And I didn't. I'm going to the Great Hunt to see we, if I can purchase property in the town. We uh, we kind of we kind of need you to you know help us get the ether powder yeah well uh, uh come with me killing... to buy the buy the property in the town and then maybe we can go get the ether magic afterwards trunk it no that's not what we're not we using right now i know i know up? i know we stopped using it i'm, I'm saying it to be a piece of shit <laughs> what what the moment i think that you might be friendly why what why hey, i'm friendly this is this? how friends talk to each other this trunk is not it. how friends talk to each other darrow Friends are kind to each other, like like legitimately. I'm trying to buy kind. you a like, town. Trunk that it. is not kindness. You can't just <laughs> like you have to give something to like if you want to show somebody that you're a friend, you have to give them something that you legitimately value, not just something that you have a ton of and you're just giving them the extra. That's not I'm, friendship. I value That's an entire gift. town. You don't value an entire town full of humanoids that you can just bend to your will. Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, hey, this sounds very. Hey, Hey Darrow. No. What? Oh, so many how things much, to unpack. Darrow, how much money do you have on you right now? Right now? Uh yeah. I don't know. Uh if I had to guess probably like 
19, 20,000 gold. How many bottle caps? I have one. Mm -hmm. It's a very that's special right. one. It it means the most to me, and that's why I only have one. I want to I want to put that like Nux up the air just be like yeah see he's got one yeah. boom no don't because the it's, I, it's I turn to Tokyo I'm like I, I'm not inside. I don't entirely sure what you mean but I got your back whatever it is. <laughs> oh I was just saying like he's got like twenty thousand gold but one bottle cap so like oh. It's the percentage of importance or I. Oh, was, yeah, yeah. That was the gist. You cool? I yeah, how it. many bottle caps? Just one? Yeah, just yeah. just one bottle cap. And it oh, sounds no, like the bottle, means a lot, man. bottle cap. But I'm, um, I'm going to buy the whole town with gold, okay? Is that okay, Togu? I mean, do you think that's what you need to do right now? I, I think it would help us to gain resources for our, our journey. I tell you what, Daryl. I am following Eridris, and I think we should go into this red heat to see what's going on here. If you think we need to purchase this town, you gotta do what you gotta do, Ben. Can I just meet you guys at the red red heap? I mean, if if you want, you know, may, maybe the leaders of the town will give us will give us the town after we save it from the bad guy. Did you do you remember what they had painted on the outside of the wall? Like, there might be people in here that worship this guy. We take him down, they might acknowledge us as the new leader. Tell you what, Dara. Uh, you follow us, we'll go into the red, the red heap. When it's done, I'll help you by the town. Like, monetarily or uh, w with support in general? Monetarily. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need that. I would prefer your support. That's what I'm saying. You know, uh, like you can't, you can't value gold. Like that's good. He proved my point. I, t I turned, I turned to tag. I'm like, he proved my point. He fucking proved my point. God damn it, <laughs> Darrow, You're not the only member of the Bottle Cap Brigade with wealth. That's all I'm saying. You know, we've had yeah. this so the reason, the reason you're in this group is not because of your pockets. The reason that it you're really a part isn't. of the brigade is be is because of who you are. That was the point I was saying you're with not, the gold versus you're not the brigade. Always a piece now of shit. I got it. Well, that's now why I, I was it. crying earlier. And Tack, I know I love you, you d d dumb piece of shit. I just, I was just trying. He... <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it! You can't just like the people you can easily manipulate. I I like that's you so too, much... Adris. We're best friends. I don't like that because <laughs> what I just said. What do you mean? You're implying that I am easily manipulated. No, you don't think we're best friends? No. Why? Because... I just want to say, what's that? And point and <laughs> see if Air just looks. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm but, sorry. I'm so what? sorry. I'm dude, so you can't sorry. you can't take that I'm tone. Sorry. Like, I'm it, sorry. I'm like sorry. That, like, like a a, a, a a ghoul could have been coming through the wall. <laughs> I know. That. I'm I was, so. Sorry. I was about to punch it. I was gonna. I was gonna punch it. <laughs> I just want to look at Dara. But Dara, let's purchase the town later. Let's go into the heat. Okay, I'll follow you, Togu, but only because Adris and I are best friends, and we're second best friends. And then I'm also best friends with everyone else in the bottle cap brigade. You know what? I agree. All yeah. right, Adris. Let's roll. Yeah. Bobcat Brigade, transform and roll out. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys? <laughs> oh, is she? Oh, Esmeralda, are you smoking off your your drunkenness? <laughs> 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 oh man. My my wife used to do that. Oh God! Oh. Anyway, that sobered Jeez. me up. Jesus Christ! I'm gone. Jesus. <laughs> wow! And with that, we're gonna end the session. So, thank you so much for watching. Wow, that was wonderful. What a dark way to go. Uh, it's because my real life. Anyway, um, that's what happens. What? All right. Well, the, you don't the have to explain yourself. The buzz sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, <laughs> is what I've learned. The, so, the, the somber <laughs> mood.
kills the bus. Hey guys, look at my <laughs> Put the map up. Taylor. The map is up yes. now. <laughs> the map is up. Okay, God. we'll cut that out of YouTube. Anyone watching, uh, I'm sorry, but thank you uh, so much. If you need to catch up on any episodes, you can go to youtube.com slash the bottle cap brigade and you can watch all of our uh, episodes. Um, also, uh, we appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for, you know, watching on Twitch and watching us live or wherever you are right now. Uh, we love you guys. You are our bottle cappers. And without you, we, uh, you know, we're just do it. We're just like hanging out with ourselves. So, uh, thanks guys. We'll see you next Thursday at 7.30 PM Mountain Standard Time. And, uh, appreciate you. See you next time. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a bottle? <laughs>